finally caught up and caught one live. Hey, Spoopgeist, welcome. Glad that you're caught up. Right in the nick of time as we're getting into the official end game of the challenge. It's a good it's a good time to be here live for sure. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Hey gang, missed y'all yesterday. I missed you guys too. Wednesday is our is our break day, one of our break days anyway. And it's uh Usually I have other things to do, but I do miss streaming as well, so. <laughs> Gotta find that good balance, though. Endgame has one or two streams left. Yeah, I don't think we're quite at that point where we're down to the last one or two streams based on having to get to year 13 for for the rare seed, but as far as just tasks remaining, we're, get, we're getting down to the wire for sure. By the way, um... There is a, a new command, exclamation point horse. You can also get a full list of all commands, exclamation point commands. And I did my best to fix up exclamation point Haley as well. Hopefully she's back in working action. Everything, all my testing seemed to fare pretty well on that one. And uh, hopefully she won't be hitting us with any more unexpected identifiers. Nightbot just shoving it in our face. You do not own a horse. You do not own a horse. I love when I talk about commands and the, and the chat just goes full command mode. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Alright, well you guys have fun with those. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the fan art for today. Because we do have a few pieces to go over. Starting with... This lovely little number from Vancouver. Exemplifying exactly why we'll never go back to the casino ever again <laughs> in a very uh, a very beautiful way. This is this was me. This was me channeling myself and my energy through Chloe, and this is how it <laughs> came through. Oh man, that was a fun night for me anyway. Oh gosh, we might still go back to the casino for the record for the uh, for the top hat. We do want all the drip we can get. But it's, uh, <laughs> hit or stay, double or nothing off after Calico Jack. All these rules, all these, all these colloquialisms. You love to see it. Yeah, absolutely do. Thank you very much, Vancouver, for that one. I believe this is a two-parter, though, because we do have another one from Vancouver. Right here. <laughs> Look, chat, that's you. That's you in the background. All those little ghosts screaming, no, no, don't do it. Don't hit on a 20. Don't hit on a 20. If you were here, you know. If not, then uh, this might seem a little obscure, but that, that's you in the background, chat. We all know how that one went, but what if? Just what if? If you hit on a 20 and you get that one, I'm just saying, chat, it could have been a beautiful moment. Good times, good times. Thank you, Vancor, again for that as well. Next up, we got one from Malehu here, who has shared another sort of photorealistic interpretation of a uh, of a few eggs. These are some eggs to give us egg luck for our future egg devers as we trot ever closer towards the Feast of the Winter Star. Can we get some just egg emojis in chat? I know you guys love the egg emojis, so feel free. We want as much luck as we can. And Malehu is uh, coming through with that. It worked with the beets. Malehu gave us a beet drawing on the day that we got the beet seeds, and we'll see if... I mean, I don't, I don't think we're going to get to the Fuse of the Winter Star today. Maybe. There's a chance, but... Actually, you know what? We might, if we uh, if I really hustle here. Thank you, Malehu, for that. We also have this beautiful one from Karita Hearts. Karita Hearts, a uh, longtime viewer of the stream. And this is... When I, when I first saw this, I was just, like, gobsmacked by the amount of color and the amount of, like, detail, and it's so good. This is Junimo Kart in its purest, finest form. I've definitely come around to, to liking Junimo Kart a lot more during the course of this challenge. I'd never really given it a fair shake before this challenge, and now that I'm actually, like, sem semi-decent at it, I think it's, uh, I think it's a good fun time. For sure, and, uh, and this makes me just hyped to play more of it, honestly. We'll see if we get the chance today. Thank you, Karita, for that. 
And I believe we have one more piece of fan art here from some in the Discord. <laughs> this is the cutest little uh, interpretation of, of Chloe here, simping after Haley. I don't know what it says in the top right with those alien symbols, but there is a translation guide in the Discord, exclamation point Discord, in the fan art channel. If you want to give it a crack yourself, I didn't see what it translated to. Hopefully it's nothing horrible. <laughs> I don't imagine it would be. It's very cute with the banana shirt and everything. Thank you to some for this lovely version of Chloe, and thank you to all the fan artists for sharing their version of Chloe over the past few months. It's been really, really cool to see all these different styles, everyone's different interpretations. It's just, it's amazing. If you'd like to share your own fan art, exclamation point Discord to join the Discord. There's a fan art channel there where you can let me know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited. You can also tweet it at me, at Argon Matrix. DM it to me. However you want to get it to me is totally fine, as long as you can uh, contact me one way or another and get it to my eyeballs. That's what I want. That's what I want. It is her imagination land, TM. If you know, you know. Has Haley been working? She says what's happening to me, but that seems to be... It's better than unexpe unexpected identifier, so I think Haley Bot is back in action for right now. The text is the Junimo, is Junimo language. If you translate it, it says imagination land TM. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Sum. I like that. All right. How much is left? Exclamation point perfection. Um, speaking of, though, we do have the itinerary to go over before we get into the rest of the show today. We got quite a few new goals on here. New and returning goals. Right at the top there, Fector's Challenge. I feel like that's going to be sitting there for a little while, but I have officially put it on the roster to get done. So it's going to get done. Anything that gets put on this list will be done. So mark my words, I've committed to it now. And I think that commitment is what I need in order to see it through. Farm Makeover, we'll continue with that today. We'll probably focus on the beach obelisk area. I think, and we'll maybe try and get a uh, another banana sapling and a mango sapling to decorate the island obelisk area with again. Also move the golden clock and stuff. We'll do a few things on that front. Gather more, more void eggs. We don't need too many more. You can also put a little asterisk on that one, because we can also get ostrich eggs from the volcano dungeon. That's something we, uh, we noted last stream. More crystallariums to be made. Grow 140 tarot roots. That might seem kind of random, but that is the amount that we need in order to get all of the fashion accessories from the island trader. And we want as much of that as possible in our lives. So that's uh, that's why I put that on there. It's a little arcane and obscure. Danger in the Deep is a quest from the Walnut Room that we're still on the lookout for. So it's um, we'll, we'll keep checking back every time we can to see when we can get that. Get eggs from Aunt Marnie. I let Jazz write that one to give us a little extra luck. I feel like if because she's in the family there, so she can uh, put a little extra panache if she, if she wrote that goal. So that's how she that's how she interpreted that. We gotta get eggs from Aunt Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star. Dragon Tooth Shiv, of course. We got the Dragon Tooth Hammer last time, but it's not good enough. We need the Shiv. Finish cooking, which will come in time with uh, eggs and the rare seed. Rare Seed in year 13 will probably be possibly the last thing we get. Either that or the eggs. It's it's going to be one of the two. It's hard to say right now. But yeah, that's where we land for the time being. Hopefully those goals are all acceptable and understandable. Let's get to it. Leo's there. Leo is indeed there. He has joined the party. He's joined the research group. Very, very exciting. Wi-Fi is a little funny at school, but I'll try and watch. On my end, my like, stream is doing weird things. It looks like it's all healthy and good, but I, so I think we're smooth sailing. But like my preview window says it's, that the stream's been going for an hour already, which doesn't make it makes literally zero sense. Were eggs in the predictor? No, unfortunately, Blade's predictor doesn't have the um, capability to factor in the Feast of Winter Star gifts, so. We're left high and dry to the power of RNG for the eggs. 
But RNG has been favoring us pretty nicely lately, so we'll see if we can keep up that streak. Let me go ahead and load into Frugal Farm here, and we'll actually get things under control. By the way, very first day of the stream here in Stardew Valley is the Stardew Valley Fair. And like we were talking about last stream, it might be our final Stardew Valley Fair as well. Because we're considering not going for... not going to festivals anymore after this year. This might be our final year of festivals in order to expedite our process. We've been to many of them over the years, and it's, uh, I think it's time to hang up that hat, potentially. But we're still going to see it through for the rest of this year, for sure. Keep up traditions. In honor of it being the final uh, Stardew Valley Fair, though, I think we owe it to ourselves to, instead of doing what we normally do, where I, where I just get chat to yell a bunch of items and stuff at me, and we, tr we try to beat our score from last year, let's make this a little bit more of a nice sort of sentimental farewell to the fair, if you will. Let's try and work together to build the most perfect display that we can with the resources available to us. And what do I mean by most perfect? I don't mean highest score. I mean most representative of Frugal Farm. We want this Grange display to tell a story. We want it to tell our story. And I think we can make that happen with, if we pick the exact nine right items, I think there is a, uh, I think there's a decent chance that not, not only will we do well points-wise, but it'll be a nice way to send things off. And then, of course, there's the wheel at the fair. Yeah, we can't forget that. But I don't know if it can live up to the hype of the that the, that was the casino. That was Mr. Cheese Casino. Okay, so given that it is the fair, we don't really have anything else to worry about right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put away just a bunch of stuff. We'll put we'll put away our like inventory right now. Oh, it doesn't really fit in here, does it? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I need to do some proper inventory management at some point. We'll put it away in here for right now. Just put away everything. Literally everything. So we have a blank, a clean slate here. Nine cactus fruits. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Cactus fruit, I think we can all agree, is a guaranteed placement. Cactus fruit. We gotta, we gotta go find our best cactus fruit, though. I think we have some gold quality ones on Ginger Island, which works out pretty well. I'll water Timbeeb as well. Let me go. I'm gonna grab the watering can. We can't use the watering can in the display, I'm pretty sure, but it, just having it on us is obviously important. So let me go ahead and run over to Ginger Island real quick. Make a pit stop there. I also want to check... I don't think we checked on yesterday, on Monday, for a new Mr. Chi quest. We also totally... or I totally forgot about the... Junimo cart quest we had going. I just let that one... I just let that deadline go clean by. So that's my bad. We do have a gold star cactus fruit right there. Why do I have a void salmon fawn? For uh, the potential void eggs for cooking. We need a few more void eggs still. One for void mayonnaise potentially, and one f and then a few more for actual just recipes that involve eggs. What do we got here? The hungry challenge or the skull cavern invasion? You know what? It's been a while. We can give the we can give the invasion a try. The Hungry Challenge is a little bit too easy. Both of them are Skull Caverns, so we're headed back to everyone's old favorite. Alright. So let's um, let's go back to the farm here. Actually, let's real quick look through, look through a chest here. Is there anything here that we feel is representative enough of the challenge, other than the Cactus Fruit, that we would want to bring, bring it along with us? I'm thinking not coffee beans, maybe, but coffee has been a very integral part of this challenge. Maybe we put a maybe, maybe we throw a triple shot espresso in the um, throw a triple shot espresso into the mix. We might actually have some cheese seasoning. We could make some cheese seasoned triple shot espresso. That could be an interesting addition. I don't know if that would boost our points at all, but it seems like a reasonable way to go about it. I'll go. I'll bring some coffee beans home, and we'll see if we can make that happen. Um, jade. How do we feel about a jade? 
in the I think I think a jade is a pretty <laughs> I mean is that we've had a lot of jades in this challenge there's some cheese seasoning by the way we've had a lot of jades a lot of jades I think it's earned its place in the pantheon jade would fit yeah I think we got to take this jade and and just send it I don't think we can put a staircase in there I don't think it's an item that works for the for the Grange display or at least it doesn't fit any of the categories so I don't think we need to worry about that let me get some more coffee going here and I think we should be able to that should brew in time and we'll get a cheese seasoned uh, a cheese seasoned triple shot espresso so we'll just put that right there for now to remind us your no skill video got me back into Stardew. I'm happy to hear that, Flair. Hope you're enjoying your time back in the valley. Um, Does the banana shirt fit any of the categories? I don't think so. I don't think clothing works for the display. Pineapples have literally saved our girl's life. Pineapple could be an option. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a late addition to the to the roster of Frugal Farm history of the mythos, but it is still important for sure. Pink cake for Haley? We could do pink cake, yeah. I think honestly, let's not let's not forget our roots as well. Where is it? Let's not forget our roots. Okay. If you were here for lava eel time, put put a put a fish emoji, because I don't think there's an eel if there's an eel emoji, put an eel emoji in chat. But lava eel was one of one of our first loves. Dragon Tooth for Ginger Island luck. Dragon Tooth, I think, has earned a place as well. Let's go grab a Dragon Tooth. I don't know if that fits any of the categories. It doesn't seem to have. It doesn't have like a category like fish, mineral, fruit, anything like that. But I'm sure it still works. I think we've probably used it. Original still gone. It's still with us in spirit, <laughs> in our in our stomach bag. We're not eating the eel. <laughs> it can somehow survive in red pools of red hot lava. It makes me think it could probably survive in stomach acid as well. What about ancient fruit wine? This has been I mean, obviously we 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 sold a lot of this in order to get to our ten million dollar mark. This basically we'd still be trying to make money if not for our wine preserves. That's gotta earn a spot, right? I feel like it just has to. I'm gonna roll with it. We're gonna. So we got this for, just for Ginger Island luck. This is for our uh, like like the very start of the stream. One of the first memes of the stream. This is like representative of Skull Cavern to an extent. This is obvious. I mean, it's, ca it's cactus fruit. The legend. The legend might be a viable option. But he he's at home in his uh in his fish tank now. I don't want to disturb him. Void egg. I don't think we actually have any void eggs to to add. Yeah, we used up all our void eggs already. What I can do, what I think was a good idea, is something representative of our relationship with Haley, and that's got to be either a pink cake or a sunflower. We could take a sunflower from her room. Because we already have, like, a cooked dish in the form of the um, triple shot espresso, so maybe a sunflower would be a good idea. We want it. We need to we need to make sure to get those that extra sunflower planted at some point as well. No horses. You do not own a horse. I don't think we can put the horse flute in the, in the display. It's a good idea, though. Yeah, I'm going to take a sunflower. I think, I, I think I'm going to break in there real quick and take a sunflower. Meet this sunflower, please. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> that worked out nicely. Okay. All right. It's not any kind of quality sunflower, but that's all right. I don't want to. I don't want to go for any other sunflowers and risk trouble here. All right. This is going to be a bit problematic. Hold on. Hold on. Just get him. Get him back in here. You too. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in this in this corner <laughs> over here. It's a little spooky. All right. We got it. We fixed it. Cool. There's, a, there's some psychedelic slime in the, in the corner there. 
Is there a void slime in there? Slime in the void? Oh, that kind of void slime. I thought you were talking about like a black slime. I was like, how did that happen? <laughs> I did make the legend. Did I make, wait, did I make the legend cry? Oh no, legend, no. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need two more things. We need two more representations of our farm here. We're still waiting on the triple shot espresso. You know what? I don't want to make the legend cry. And the legend, we did have quite the, uh... We did have quite the eventful experience with the legend. So you know what, legend? You can come, you can come along. Slime egg. Slime egg and hop. Sap? <laughs> I'm not putting sap in the, <laughs> in the display. It's too much of a meme. Alright, let's go ahead and make this. Triple shot espresso. So we got the cactus fruit. We got triple shot espresso. Jade, lava eel, retracting tooth. So we, need, we, we just need one more thing here. We need one more thing. What is a good representation? A pumpkin for Krobus? Can we put one of the golden pumpkins in there? Golden pumpkin for Krobus? We could just, or we could just do like a, uh, a proper, like just, we only have a sil silver star pumpkin. Tea leaves? I don't think tea leaves are representative enough. I, we, we've had our time in our phone with tea leaves, but they're not really integral to the challenges core. Pineapple? Pineapple. I see some good options here. I'm going to throw the last one up to a poll. Because I don't know if we can come to a consensus and I don't feel comfortable making the decision alone. So I'm going to say, what should be our final item? Let's go ahead. I'll, I'll throw in a few options. How, how many options can I add here? We can get four options in. I'm going to put pumpkin for Krobus. We're going to go purple. Oh, excuse me. Purple slime egg for Neptune. Um, do I have any, any spare beets? Beets could be a good one as well. We do have two gold star beets, so let's go beet. And then I'm going to hit you with a... There's, there's hops. There's pineapple. I'm going to hit you with a... Pineapple. Because it has saved our life on more than one occasion. Pineapples have been the... Uh, the silent champions of this run for the past little bit. All right, ask your community. I still have the purple shorts all these years later. I still do. So it's going to be one of those four. There could be some other options. Like there's always, obviously, Lucky Lunch is a uh, is a possible is a possible write-in vote. Hops, honorable mention. I'm gonna let that poll run for a little bit though. And we'll just see see where we land. I don't know if you can put the slime egg in. I mean we'll find out. If we can't put the slime egg in, we should have a uh, a backup plan. The copper axe. I don't think we can fit the copper axe. I don't think you can put tools at all into the uh, into the display. It is a close race. It's a relatively close race, but it looks like the purple slime egg is going to be the top contender here. Purple slime egg is the champion with 43% of the vote. Pineapple is the runner-up, so we're going to bring the pineapple just in case the purple slime egg, if they don't let us put it in, we'll bring a gold star pineapple as well. I think that's a fair compromise.
Let's go ahead and grab... This one's for Neptune. This one's for... Life, in general. <laughs> Alright. I think this will be a good... I think this is this this does like I wanted to. It tells a story in many chapters. You got obviously the cactus fruit grind as the as the core guiding light of the challenge. The uh, the triple shot espresso has been a staple since very early on. The jade made our dreams of skull cavern seeds a reality. The lava eel reminds us of our roots and to not forget where we came from, even when even all these tens of millions of dollars later. The Dragon Tooth is a representation of our pure luck. The absolute luck, 0% skill involved in uh, in some of the later half of this run. Ancient Fruit Wine is the representation of greed, which has been an integral part of this challenge, Argon Greed. We needed it to get to the point that we're at with all the money that we needed. Sunflower is a representation of our undying love for Haley. And you can maybe uh, you can you can factor Krobus into that one as well. He's he's he's. I mean, there there is no representation of Krobus here, but he lives with us, so he gets representation all the time. But Haley has been our number one since the beginning. The legend, fishing is my favorite skill, and I think the legend, the battle against the legend, the never-ending storm that inevitably landed us the king of all fish, was a uh, a pivotal moment in streaming history or at least in my streaming history. The purple slime egg. Neptune, our first uh, our first non-Timbeeb pet. We don't have anything that represents Timbeeb here, but I don't know if we can put anything that represents Timbeeb, honestly. He's, he just is himself. We'll try and put the watering can if we can, I guess. Um, but Neptune. Never forget the sacrifice made for Neptune. And uh, his legacy lives on in our ho in our homestead. Possibly the latest addition to the to the mythos of Price of Perfection, but still an important part of it. And of course, the pineapple. We could not have survived our many endeavors into the Volcano Dungeon and the Skull Cavern without these things. These sweet and tangy tropical treats. We would not be alive and standing if not for these. We would have had many more resets. So thank you to all of you, uh, all of you for helping contribute. And to you, chat, this one's for you. I think we've worked together to create a beautiful thing here. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can win this thing. What do you say? Now, this is the important part, arguably the most important part. How do you structure this? Cactus fruit has to go dead center, as far as I'm concerned. Or we could do, like, front center, because, like, if you imagine that you're looking at it in a 3D perspective, the cactus fruit would be literally front and center if you put it like this. Has to be. I think you put it, you flank it on either side with the triple shot espresso and the sunflower. I'm going to go ahead and throw... I mean, money is what it's all about, really. So it's money. Money makes the world go around. So everything's gonna go around the money. Then we go ahead. I think we can put. Um, let's see. How do I feel about this? You're gonna hang out in the back. I think the backbone of the entire challenge. This will be our purple. This is gonna be our purple row. I do like my color coordination. We're not able to put the. We're not able to put everything, obviously. The pineapple. We are able to put the purple slime egg, so that's going to be because that won the poll. So that's going to go in, instead of the pineapple, but the pineapple is here in spirit. I'm okay with this. I am okay with this setup right here. I'm not going to belabor the point any longer, Marnie. I see some eggs that you got there. They're not the eggs that we want, though, so I'm not super worried about that. We need small white eggs. Those look like large brown eggs. Pierre? Yours yours is very... It's the same every year. How can you live with yourself? No, none of these fools mix up their Grange displays whatsoever from year to year. I'm the only one with, any, with an ounce of creativity here. Split up the fish. Put the jade between. You know what? I can co-sign that. 
All right. We need a, a good luck kiss from Haley. Mwah. What'd she say about the fortune teller? She told me something interesting. Giggle. All right. Mayor Lewis, don't disappoint us. I don't know if this is going to beat our previous year's score of like 104 points or something. But let's give it a shot. If nothing else, I am proud of... Uh, th this is the most frugal of all our displays. The final display. Let it be one to remember. One for the history books. Everyone get your cameras out. Get your camera emojis for the final, uh, the final display here. It's a memory for sure. Eat the pineapple after the contest. You know what? As a as a victory pineapple. Yeah, let's do it. It beats the previous year in our hearts. A hundred percent true. Your Grange display has been judged. Let's go. What do you got for me, Lewis? Your score this year was 105 star sacrifice. Congratulations. Our score this year, on the other hand, is a whopping... You won first place with a rating of 102. You know what? I don't think we beat last year's score. I think it was 104. But we cleared the 100 mark. And we still win. And win. That's pretty exciting. That's pretty awesome. That even all our memories are, are seen as just as valuable as everything else here. Very, very cool. These thousand star tokens, spend them wisely. Th this one's for you, chat. Let me go grab everything from the display, of course. Grab everything. Thousand star tokens, you throw it all on orange, and you don't look back. You don't look back. Never look back. There we go. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way, quite frankly. What do you think, Simon? Alright. Let's just have a look at what might have been. A hundred hay? No thank you. Another light green rug? I think we got plenty of those at home. Oh my goodness. Alright. Farewell to the Stardew Valley Fair. I'm gonna grab one survival burger for the road, for old time's sake. This one's for the cactus root grind. Let's get out of here. Eat everything you put on the display. There's some valuable stuff in there. We're not eating it all. You want me to eat the purple slime egg? <laughs> Let's go. Certified Calico Jack moment. All right. Let's put away all our goodies here. Wheresoever they may go. Gonna throw you in here. You as well. Cactus fruit. You know what? Sunflower can go in here. We don't really have a designated spot for it, but it's it's part of the legendary pantheon, nevertheless. Gonna go ahead and we'll save. We'll save. We can we can drink this triple saw espresso in the morning. That much I'm okay with. Why is it still only plus one speed? I thought it was cheese season. What the heck? This is a ripoff. I should put. I need to put the jade back in the. Whatever the heck. The aquarium. There you go, legend. Your home sweet home. Let's grab everything else out of here. This is our volcano dungeon setup. I don't know if we're going to go straight to volcano dungeon. In fact, we're probably not. We're going to actually... I'm going to leave some of this in here for right now. For, um... Actually, I'll keep that. Do like that. For right now, just so... Because I'm going to be probably doing some farm makeover stuff before we get to anything else. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. Yeah. My favorite thing to put in the aquarium is jades. Is that what I said? Put jade in the aquarium? I stand by it. I'm going to take this jade and... Uh, Eat it. No, I'm gonna put it in the <laughs> in the quarry chest when I get the chance. Ooh, strange bun. He tried his best to make human food. You know what, Krobus? A little void mayonnaise glazing for uh, for breakfast. 
I'll take it. Thank you. Put the jade back in the aquarium. All right. Onward we go. Like I said, always forward, never back. Let's go ahead. I'm going to throw this jade away. Not throw it away, but I'm going to put it away. I would never throw a jade away. Are you kidding me? It, they're too valuable for that. A little hazelnut fell from that tree. It didn't escape my notice. I didn't even know that could happen. I can't help myself when I see these this many jades, even though I know we don't really need them. I just need to collect all of them. All of them. We're not we're not leaving any stragglers behind here. Couldn't the bun be used for the star drop? How so? That's 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 the sweet. Can you put a bun in place of the sweet gem berry? I don't think that works. That would be the ultimate play, though, for sure. <laughs> We'd still need a sweet gem berry to ship, so it wouldn't really matter that much, but that would be funny. All right. Let's go. Back to the bus stop. All right. So like I said, I think we're going to get on some farm decorating today. That's how we, we started off last stream. I think it's a good place to start. And I would like to check this situation out let's let's see if we can make something happen there something a little more beautiful than what's currently going on it's a bit of an eyesore admittedly let's go ahead and try and remedy that shall we what's the command for the rules he's following i don't think there's a command for it there's just a link in the description for uh ooh, hello fresh for the rules and guidelines document So I like the beach obelisk being beachfront property like that, obviously. That's very fitting. Now, how do we decorate around that? What do we put... What do we get beach... What's what's beachy? What's beachy that we have access to? I think we probably want to change up this pathway here to something a little more beach-friendly. I don't know what that might be. I don't want to copy the island pathway. But the, the, it is kind of like a cool seashell vibe as well, that the crystal pathway. Let's see. What do we have at our disposal? Pathways. Crystal floor, probably not. We could just do like a, cobble, a cobblestone path, I guess. Just like a straight cobblestone path. The palm trees that came in your house. I don't think we can take the palm trees out of the house, though, can we? Or maybe we can? Finally, use for the palm trees? Where are they? Are they down? Oh, they're in Haley's room, aren't they? Yeah, they're in Haley's room. I mean, they're not exclusively Haley. And I think that they might... Sur oh, you can put them out here. These would definitely be better for for Ginger Island, I think. There's more there's more palm trees on Ginger Island, but this is still kind of nice, still kind of a cool vibe. And we already got the deconstructors are also just straight up more Ginger Island. Oops, <laughs> gonna have to take a take a bit of a jaunt back here. Wood path seems fitting for the beach. We could try wood path, yeah, like a like a little wood walkway leading down to the beach. I've seen those before. I've been to the beach at least once in my life. It was a gravel beach, but it was a beach all the same. I have been to a proper beach, though. It was, like, in Hawaii many, many years ago. Many, many years ago, when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was purdy as could be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her, and soon they two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life, for my daughter was my mother because she was my father's wife. To, the, to complicate the matter, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. Anybody know this, or am I speaking to the void here? Little wooden path. Wood path for the beach. 
We also want some good braziers, I think. What are what are good beach braziers? I think marble braziers kind of remind me of the Little Mermaid to a certain extent. So maybe we can get some of those going. I need to put, throw some marble in a crystallarium. You're your own grandpa, correct. This, this, is, this is the reference. Hello, present Argon. I'm really sad I can't participate in live chat. I'm catching up with the VODs, currently episode 24. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Hamakzek. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you're enjoying the VODs. I hope you continue to enjoy them, and hope you get to join us live someday. Appreciate it. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll swap out at least one of the uh, Jade Crystallariums. In fact, we can just swap out this one right here for a Marble Crystallarium. Yeah, mar Marble seems vaguely mermaid themed. I agree with that. Let's get a nice little a nice little wooden walkway. Gangplank Galleon. I don't know if I just want to do like a straight shot or if I want to do kind of like a curvy path or, or something. Either way, we're going to need more wood. Where we're going, we need more wood. Or we could do wood floor, weathered floor. And Are any of these better? I think wood path is still totally fine, honestly. Don't know if I love the, the curvature there. I don't like how it kind of connects in a curvy way. That's maybe... Oh, what if we do this, though? What if we do, like, uh... What if we do, like, little... Little circles? Oops, that's not it. Little, like, flowery things? They're, they're not... I guess flowers aren't really beachy, are they, though? But they could... It's kind of like a... Just at least a cool vibe. We could... We could also, like, stagger them a little better. Like, what if we did not a full straight shot. They look like bonfires. Ooh, we could throw, throw like a torch in the middle of there. Looks neat, but not like a path. Some stepping stones between them. Okay, I can, I can, we can try that out. Let's see. I got some stone here, but do they have any stepping stone paths pre-made? I do have some stepping stones, but I would need more. Give that a try. Let's see here. I also think I probably want to do this a little further up if I want to do it. Like right between... What if I do like something like this? And then let's make some more stepping stones. There's something to this. I don't... It, it's... Maybe not... <laughs> maybe not your average... Uh, or average walkway, but there's kind of, it's kind of cool. I like that I kind of, that we kind of just stumbled across it too. Like I've never seen anything quite like this. Maybe it's for good reason, but it seems like kind of neat. Put a campfire on them. I don't think we can put a campfire like in the middle of them because it's that's the middle of four tiles right there. We could do. Well, I don't think it would work right because it would just be like a like a square basically like if we did something like this and then you would well we can we'll need more pathways anyway something like that and then a campfire in the middle but I kind of like this design here better on its own Do I, have a, do I have a cutoff for the Feast of the Winter Star where you'll try RNG manipulation or something similar? I don't think there's actually, even if I wanted to, any way to ma manipulate that. You can manipulate the gift you get from whoever you get, but you can't manipulate the actual person you get at the Feast of the Winter Star, as far as I know. You have a star-shaped cobblestone path on your farm? Heck yeah. Wait, so does cobblestone path? Does that do the same sort of thing here? Oh, that would be, that would be interesting to see. You know, we'll try it out. I want to just see if how it uh, how it connects here. It just it just starts to sort of make a little. It doesn't do the same thing, but I can see how you can make stars and stuff out of that too. 
finally doing some farm beautification. A little bit, you know. Dipping our toes in. Get some more of these. Kind of like... What, like, no, I, I still... Actually, hold on. So I kind of wouldn't mind getting a little pathway up here as well. Or if we do, like, a straight shot like that. Except not there. I'm trying to figure it out here. I don't know if that's how I how I want it, and then we and then we like kind of make this whole area its own special thing. I would probably want to move the beach obelisk up a little bit as well. A little beach obelisk up, and then we can keep the palm trees around. Are there any like uh, do any of the fruit trees we have? Would they be particularly beachy? What do we have? Apple, apricot, peach. I guess peach and pomegranate, maybe. A little peach and pomegranate sapling. They're not the same season, are they though? Pomegranates fall. They'd be different seasons. I don't know if we I don't know if they, that would be a good idea. Banana trees. Bananas are more for the island. We're we're planning on doing a banana and a mango sapling over on the ginger island area. We could also invest in a a sign of some kind. What if we have a little like fishing sign, you know? You know how they have those where it's like you can like you can fish here? What if we have something like this and then you have uh you throw your throw your fishing rod on that? Honor the bamboo pole forevermore. Too bad you can't plant coconuts. I was thinking the exact same thing, honestly. Like, what if we just have a little, a little something like that? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna probably... I don't know if I love this. I feel like I probably don't. I would rather just finish this off like so. We'll move this up a little bit, and then we can have some. We could do we could do a little like a little torch action or something along along this pathway. Just like some torches intermittently or or something like that. I don't know. Or, would tor do torches look nice? Just a chair in general. We could have a chair. A chair out here, sitting out, looking towards the, uh, looking out so you could, like, sit and fish. Add some lights. We're gonna need some lights. We're gonna have some marble braziers when everything's said and done. But along the, along the pathway, we could do a little bit of, a uh, just sort of, like, a little bit of mood lighting. Just throw these things in here for right now. Grab some sap. We'll try some torches. Just see how we feel about it. Torch on a lone fence post. Can you do that? Can you put torches on fence posts? Let's see, wood fence. I guess it would probably be a wood fence, right? What if we do something like this? You can throw it on there. That's kind of that's kind of neat. What if we do that? Like, uh, what if we? What if we? Have like a bunch of fences here, right? And you kind of like put them along like so. We could honestly maybe even do like whole like a whole fenced in pathway here. I don't know if I like this that much now that I'm looking at it. It's 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 all right, but I feel like it's maybe not exactly where I want it to be. We'll roll with it for now. And then I would need a cup. I would need one more fence and two more torches.
It's a little much. I think we would probably also want one last uh, set of it right here. It might be a little too much, but I kind of am starting to vibe with it. Just a little bit. The wood is a little too dark for the vibe. Do you think we go hardwood fences? We could try hardwood fences. We need some more lighting down this way at some point, too. Um, Try hardwood fences. Throw the sap away as well. This is more than we need, I'm sure, but it's fine. Oh, I need. I, I guess you can't. Uh, can't knock that. Can't knock down a wooden fence with a pickaxe. You know what? That's fair. By the way, I have 700 hours in Stardew Valley. <laughs> Looks like a path to a sacrifice. Try hardwood fences instead. Hardwood fence is definitely a, a nicer, a nicer vibe for sure. It's the aesthetic a bit more. I don't know if this is our forever bay, but it's um good. Hatch all the slimes outside. <laughs> we may hatch some slimes outside. I don't, I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to happen this stream. It's not, it's not on the itinerary, but it has not escaped my notice that it's uh, something that I've just been neglecting to do. This is all right. I think I think this is pretty cool, honestly. And then we get some uh, we'll get some kind of chair going out here. We can move the obelisk maybe a little up and out. Put some more stone. Let's just uh, grab. I know we have some in the chests up there, but we're here right now, so let's just do this. Move this up, and then we can get some marble braziers, a couple of them, and it'll be it'll be good. I don't think we're gonna use these wooden fences for anything. And if, if we are, then we can always remake them. That's fine. I'm going to say same with these hardwood fences for right now. I think that's a good place to... We're, we're off to a good start for this uh, segment of decoration. I like how it's shaping together. Maybe a little nitpick since it's pretty close anyway, but the fish pond would look good just above the beach zone. We can, uh, I mean, we're going to go down to the wizard tower to move some stuff around today regardless, so we can definitely try that out. See how we like it. It is very, very windy and rainy outside in real life, by the way, right now, so hopefully you can't hear too much of the uh, commotion going on out there. There is wind whipping by my, my window at Mach 10 or something like that. It's a little crazy. But I'm sure I'll be okay. Yeah, I could I see what you mean. I could move the fish pond a little further down. Is there a time that the wizard opens or can I just go there anytime, basically? Throw the honey in here. We gotta keep our eyes on this Skull Cavern Invasion quest, by the way. We got four days left to try that, but we only need one day to actually do it, so it should be okay. Maybe some pots to grow something along the path? That's an idea for sure. We could also do tubs of flowers at some point. And then have them, like, in, like inter we could grow something interspersed in between there. That might be a little more of an investment, because garden pots and then crops and then... That sort of thing, and all, all, obviously the crops also wouldn't... Uh, we could just, like, grow something as well out here, like, in the soil without the pots. But they're seasonal, so we didn't end up having to replace them. One way or another. I'm going to go ahead and take these off of here for right now. 
and then we'll move, we'll go move the obelisk and move other things as well. 30 degrees Celsius here in Germany. I am not, uh, not envious of that. That is too hot for, for my little fair skin. Flower tubs would be nice. I don't know if they're super beach themed though. I don't know if they're beach centric or maybe if we save the flower tub idea for the earth obelisk when we go down to the, down there and get sort of our woodsy naturey vibe going on. That might be a bit more fitting. I'm open to the possibility still though. All right. Let's have a look here. Move some buildings around. So let's go ahead and move this up just a little ways here. Do I want it in line with the path like that? Probably. Or do I want it like one up further? I think just in line is probably makes the most sense, right? Do I want it like right next to it? Do I want it to be a little further out so we can get some some room for other decor around here? I think right there is totally reasonable. Then we get some we get the palm trees, we get some braziers, and we'll be we'll be looking pretty. Could move the fish pond if we wanted to a little further down. Or, or like a little closer over here. I kind of like how it fills this corner though as well. And it's, uh, I mean, we're checking it pretty much every day. I kind of just like how it fills the corner. Also, the purple is not necessarily the nicest thing. A little supply crate right there. We'll check that at some point. I also did want to move the, um, ooh, another supply crate. Wanted to move that. We're going to have this, we're going we're gonna to reinstate Golden Clock Island. I think we're good right there. I think I am happy with this for right now. Kim Beeb's loving the path, you can tell already. All right. Thank you, sir. You mustn't tell anyone, but I have a reason to believe that one of the locals is actually my daughter. Spoilers, spoilers, I could be mistaken. It's rare, but it does happen. That's just to throw you off his scent. I know exactly who it is, too. It's gotta be, uh... It's gotta be... Hmm. Well, who could it be? <laughs> There's so many options. I know the common uh, consensus is either Abigail or Caroline, right? I'm sort of with it with the Stardew lore. Not entirely, though. It's Haley. <laughs> I don't know if it's Haley, because I think they know their, their parents. Of course, I mean, obviously Abigail thinks that Pierre is her dad, so you never know, I guess. But <laughs> Penny? I feel like Penny is the last one it would be, but maybe that's, that's, how they, that's how they get you. They throw you off the scent. All right, let's go ahead and flank with some palm trees. I, can, I probably want to move this, like, one further out, honestly. Like right along, right along the coast. Got to grab the fishing rod again. Abigail or Jazz? It's because of the purple, isn't it? Just the purple vibe? That's what everyone goes off of. Color theory is a real thing. The wizard's also the father of this chest right here. And these void sand. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty good for the beach area. I think that's good for right now. There's something to be said about maybe growing something along this path or any other number of things. I'd like, we're going to get the marble braziers in time once we get the marble from the crystallarium. We'll also get a chair to put out here, but I don't think we have access. There's there's one chair I know we can get from the desert, not the desert trader, but the island trader. So we might invest in that. I don't know what you need to trade for it, but I know it exists. And for right now, I'm also going to go ahead and I think we'll get some more iron lamp posts going along this path leading out towards the fruit bat cave and the um and the island obelisk just get a little extra lighting going along here 
let's go ahead and just let's get our handy dandy measuring tool out here. Let's also not forget, I should go grab these couple things. Move you. He'll be right there for now. All right. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Actually, yeah, five, no, five is pretty good. And then we're gonna want some more, I think, and then I think, yeah, I think it's because like five out, or was it six? I think it was six, wasn't it? That we were doing before. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we'll have to see how these space out. So it's this way. This is one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let me just, I just want to see how this spaces. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be like right here. And one, two, no, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm counting wrong here. This is all kind of messed up. Hold on. Three, four, five. And then you do here if you want six in between each one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it would be here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it would be like here. So you could get rid of that one. And then like one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think, you know what, that's probably fine. Obviously, this is a little off space. We could also we could extend the path a little ways as well if we wanted to put the chest at like the very end there or something. Doesn't necessarily need to be perfect, though. Why do you have bombs while you're decorating? Asking for an accident. They were shipped by a by a lovely benefactor. I don't know. I don't know who sent the bombs or why in a supply crate like that. They just happened to wash up on my shore. That's a good call. Another one right here. And then I think what I'm going to do... Nope. Not that. Can I... I can't push... I can't push it up. Confirmed. Cannot push it up. What about from here? Okay. There we go. I think that's fine, and then we just go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of this, get rid of that. What if we just what if we just extend this pathway a little bit further out here and make it so that there's like two iron lamp posts kind of flanking the uh, fruit bat cave? I'll drink a triple shot espresso to that. Maybe a leftover from the war. I hope they're not shipping bombs for war for like actual warfare purposes in cardboard boxes or like wooden crate i guess maybe wooden well, no, well probably not wooden crates either to be honest with you they're, they're freaking explosive devices handle with care at least put like a sticker on it one two three four five six and then we'd have one like right here And it kind of guides you sort of in that direction. You can't actually cross here. If, if only you could build a bridge in this game. That would be clutch. But that's fine. We'll make do with what we got. Throw those in there. Grab a few battery packs. I don't know how many of these I actually need. We'll just start with five. One. Two. Three. Oh, that's perfect. Four. One, five. All right, cool. It's at least lighting up the area. It might not be the, the greatest aesthetic of all time. But there it is. Go ahead and drop these off. And I think we're good on the decorating front for the time being, like I said. We got some a few more things to add to our beach area when this marble is done 
fermenting. But for right now, I think that's a good place to call it. Let's go ahead and start focusing on other things then. If we're, so we're, we want to do Skull Cavern Invasion. We need to be prepared for that. I think we maybe tackle that tomorrow, depending on our luck. We want high luck for it just to be safe. I'm going to bring this, and we probably want to bring our bombs as well. What else would we want for Skull Cavern Invasion? We don't need this. I mean, we have our supplies at the actual Skull Cavern. Got our dagger. There's a bunch of this stuff we actually wouldn't need, but it's... Or not a bunch of this stuff, but just the watering can at least. I'll probably... You know what? I'm going to actually grab some... I think what you do... Because we could just staircase down through the Skull Cavern Invasion, and we'll probably do a lot of that when we actually get there. We'll do a decent amount of staircasing. But I would like to do maybe a little combat just to prove my metal. And to that end, I think you grab some roots platters as well. At least one roots platter to boost your attack, I think is a good investment. Let's go volcano. Have a good one there, GG. Thank you for tuning in for a little bit. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let's grab... We'll just grab a few of these, just in case. A few meaning a couple. I kind of use a few and a couple interchangeably, even though you definitely shouldn't. A couple literally is two. There's like no other interpretation that could be reasons to be correct. So I don't know why I have that problem, but <laughs> I don't know. A couple, I maybe it's just... May, maybe there's a case where... No, there really isn't. There really isn't a case where you could use it for like three or more. Doesn't, just doesn't make any kind of sense. All right, let's go ahead and call it a day there, I think. A little sleepy time. We'll see if our... Uh, if our luck is in... F if luck is in our favor today. May the odds be ever in our favor. Let's have a look here. It's neutral luck. Do you think neutral luck is good enough? Or should we... Should we wait? I guess there's like no real rush on it specifically, so... We, there's... We might as well wait. But I kind of just want to go do it, man. I just kind of want... I want to do it now! Tim Beeb. Let me go to the Skull Caverns and risk my very life and limbs. Please. Neutral is above zero, it's true. It's not it's not literally exactly neutral. We got root splatters in here too. We can take some, we can take a whole bunch and just drop them off a skull cavern. Because there is like a set like we can double check, because I didn't actually look that close today. I just looked at the screen. The spears feel neutral today, yeah. There's like a, there's a, if, if it's exactly zero luck, then it's like, this is rare, oh my god. You, don't, you wouldn't believe your luck. You just got perfectly neutral luck. It's like the luckiest thing that can happen to you. To be exactly not lucky or unlucky. It's kind of crazy. Bring Monster Musk too? Karita, are you actually trying to kill me? <laughs> I'm not bringing Monster Musk to the invaded Skull Cavern. It's already invaded! What, what more do you want? I don't even have to go do it. I could have just, like, stayed home and twiddled my thumbs play played Junimo card or something. But instead, I'm putting on a show sponsored by HelloFresh, as you can see. Hey there, Mobby. Looks like he made it just in time. I don't think we're going to do Skull Cavern today. What I will do instead, I'm actually going to go ahead and take to the... Surprisingly enough, I'm going to go to the dig site on Ginger Island. Because one of our goals is to grow a whole bunch more taro for trading at the Desert Trader. Sorry, the Island Trader. And I think the best way to get a whole lot of taro is going to be to get a whole lot of bone fragments. So let's go see what we can scour out of that area. Because we got a bunch of stuff we want to trade for you. Like we want, We already got the Tropical TV... Deluxe Cowboy Hat is one of the drips that we want. The Luau Skirt, that's 80 Terra Roots already right there. And then there's like three more hats that we could also get, so... 
We're going to try. We're going to try our best. It's a little known fact that Monster Musk also raises your luck in real life. Source, dude, just trust me. Probably should have brought my axe as well, to be fair. Or like a, a scythe or anything to help clear some of this area out. But that's alright. We can also just... I mean, I kind of don't want a bomb. I feel like I want a little more precision striking. Just to be on the safe side here. Because I don't know if a bomb actually, like... I don't think it, like, gets rid of the bone nodes. I think it merely opens them like it would anything else, but... Why risk it? We're in no rush here. At least I'm in no rush. Are there any bone fragments in here already? It does not look like it. We have a fossilized leg, though. I like this powerful pickaxe, too. I forgot that we enchanted this thing, and it's actually breaking these bone nodes in one hit. I'm pretty sure it wasn't doing that before. That is very exciting. And we never would have known that if we just bombed this place, so that's kind of cool, too. A lot of bones and bone accessories hanging out in this place. Okay. That's pretty good right there. I mean, that's what? That's 28 terror roots right there? I'll take it. We can probably get some more bone fragments from skeletons. Well, the, no, there's no skeletons in Skull Cavern. I don't know why I thought there would be. I was thinking of mummies. But well, this is a good start, anyway. Yeah, we've been redecorating mostly. Off off to a slower start this stream. You know, we kind of got to build up into the more exciting things, like sleeping the days away forever and ever. There we go. Because I know that's what everyone's here for, the top-tier sleeping content. We got to have a little fun before that, right? All right. Did we beat last year's score? For the for the fair, we didn't worry about the score so much this year. Because we decided that this is probably going to be our final year of going to festivals, so it would be our final fair. We send it we gave it a final farewell, if you will, by um making it what do you want to say? By making it more representative of our farm and our journey as a whole, rather than going for pure chaos mode. If you walk into your house with Monster Musk, the slimes will double. Thank you for letting me know, Karita. I'll be sure to never do that, because that sounds like a recipe for disaster. I appreciate the the attempt at chaos here, though. Yo, look at how fast this hoe goes, though. Are we, are we animation canceling? I finally learned animation canceling. You just have to get an enchanted swift hoe. In fact, I mean, anima animation canceling is almost certainly faster than this, but... <laughs> But I feel like a like a golden god. That was too many spots for tarot. For the tarot that we have. But you know what? Let's seed maker the rest of this tarot, I think. We'll run home, we'll seed maker it, and we'll uh And we'll grow some more. Animation canceling is the same speed. Maybe if you're good. I feel like I'm not good enough with the hoe in general to to be at a good speed for either animation canceling or for just like a swift hoe. We did get 102 points. Yeah, that's correct. Aw, oh, mixed seeds, man. We've been very lucky about getting uh, the seeds from the seed maker that we actually need as opposed to getting mixed seeded on any of the important seeds. I shouldn't speak too soon, though, because we do still have one seed remaining, exclamation point cart, that we'll need to use the seed makers for, and that one could be, uh, <laughs> that one could still screw us up. That one could constitute yet another reset if we're not careful. Or not lucky, I guess, is more accurate, because we don't really have much control over that, do we? So both is twice as fast? I think, I think animation canceling would negate the swiftness of the hoe, would it not? 
because you're canceling the animation altogether, so it's like it wouldn't matter if it's faster or not. Or am I not rationalizing that correctly? Thing with animation canceling is it works because the action is performed before the animation is finished. When you cancel, you don't have to wait for it to finish. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is that it would be... Like, there'd be no point in canceling the animation if it's... Or, like, there'd be no point in the animation being any faster like it is with this, uh... Swift enchantment. If you're just canceling the animation altogether. That makes sense in my head. I don't know if it bears out in reality. But I feel like it would. Just go all the way upstream here, just start planting terra tubers like, like it's nobody's business. We're going full terra tuber sweat strats now. It's time. It's time to get all the drip that we've ever wanted from the island trader. Need three more. I can make that happen. I will get, gladly pay you Friday for a tarot tuber today. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. I don't I don't know when these tarot tubers will be ready. I'm really bad with crop dates. I'm bad at just like looking for that or even trying to remember it. But uh, I'm sure someone in chat will remind me. We'll be to Ginger Island before too long again anyway, I'm sure. Let's just leave this here. We're not really using it anywhere else. And then let's head home. We have how many days left? Three days left for Skull Cavern Invasion? We can do that. We can do it. Should not be a problem. It's Saturday. We don't actually need any more milk for cooking practicality, but we might stop at Sandy's regardless. Just, you know, having extra milk on hand to make some, some recipes could be good. We're headed to Skull Cavern anyway today, based on that luck. I'm not going to wait for maximum tier luck. Maybe I should, but... I'm getting antsy. Enough faffing about with all this farm decorating and ho hum, I'm planting tarot tubers. It's a it's a real deal farming simulator. Look at me go. No, we're we're getting into the real stuff now. Have you ever wanted to see a, a serpent die? We're gonna go kill many serpents with our with our little dwarf dagger. Very few people believe in the dwarf dagger. There are many naysayers of the Dwarf da Dagger in this chat. You can't hide. I, I know who you are. And we're going to go prove them all wrong right now. Let's go do it. We're not even taking the mini obelisk down there because uh, we want to get our steps in. You wouldn't hit the field cold, would you? Tubers should be ready by the 27th. Thank you. Thank you, professional, professional girl boy. I appreciate that. Cact little cactus fruit for, for good luck. Let's get it done. We're going freaking in. So, what do we need here? We're going to go ahead... Do we take the steel pickaxe with us? We don't need the watering can, obviously. Do we take the steel pickaxe with us, or do we re rely exclusively on bombs? That is the question of the hour. I think I am going to actually keep the triple shot espresso on me this time. We don't we're not worried so much about getting loot here as we end inventory management as we are about just getting down to floor 100 for the quest. I'll bring two roots platters with me. Uh the lucky lunch is not really that important. Do we have our rings? We have some good rings on here. I think this is fine. Did we get the Dangerous Mines quest? We did not. We Right now we have Skull Cavern Invasion quest. Bring the pickaxe. We'll bring the pickaxe just in case we get into a tight spot. Otherwise, I think we just send it here. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll, we'll take the staircases. Staircases, little roots platters just in case.
I think this is fine. I'm just looking at chat to see if there's any last minute advice, but chat trusts me enough, hopefully, that I won't, uh, that this won't be the first confirmed death. We're, we, oh, we're not wearing the right shoes. Should I be worried about that? Should I go grab the Cinder Clown shoes? I feel like every little bit is going to count here. And while I do respect the drip of the of the leprechaun shoes, I think I got to I think I have to give ourselves the best possible odds here, right? What rings am I wearing? I've got uh this is the slime ring, slime charmer ring plus crab shell and iridium band plus lucky ring. I think that's a reasonable ring loadout, but correct me if I'm wrong. Sold something for death insurance? I can sell something for death insurance. What do we have a lot of that we don't uh, that we don't really care about selling that much? We can we can sell some sap. A little sap for death insurance just in case. Bring these with me. I'll probably leave these Cinder Clown shoes at the Skull Cavern for future potential dives so that I don't have to worry about coming back again if I forget them. Alright, let's take care of business. I gotta remind myself, I've gotten somewhat comfortable with the Skull Cavern, but this is not this is not your grandpappy Skull Cavern. This is the real deal Skull Cavern invasion. We, we've experienced it one time before, and I was scared out of my mind. I need to be sure to be ready for this. So let's 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 pop a roots platter. And let's get going. Skull Cavern invasion. Don't risk anything. Just go for staircases when they present themselves. Can I break in one hit? I cannot break these things in one hit, even with my powerful enchantment. That's okay. Alright, so we want to bomb, like, big clusters of rocks here. I will be... Ooh, we also want radioactive ore, honestly. We get, we very seldom get the chance to get radioactive ore, so I'm going to take any chance that I get. Okay, okay. DEFCON 12. Everyone, it's fine. With the slime charmer ring, I think we're in a good spot. We will inevitably get to the point, I'm sure, where we just end up staircasing through most of this, but for right now, I don't think I'm there. Alright, let's just go. Let's just go. I'm not going to be looking at chat, by the way, because I need to look at the screen in order to survive. <laughs> Pardon me if, if, if survival is more important than seeing whatever memes chat is spewing. Alright, hold on. We got, we got two. We got two on us right now. Okay, we're good. They've, they've got a, they've got a pretty wide girthy hitbox. Those uh, royal serpents, so you can hit them pretty far ahead of time and not worry so much about it. I should have gone for that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I need to get out of here. Get me out of here. It's fine. It's fine. We're still good. We got the crab shell ring. We got we got lots of good defense. We're not super worried here. Okay, that's good. That's good. I will grab that in place of the Void Essence here. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop a Pineapple as well. Be on the safe side. I think this is possibly a staircaseable floor. Because it's just got so many monsters. Okay. Be on the lookout for Radioactive Ore, as always. Uh, You know what? We can... I just, want, I just want to have a look. I just want to have a look around. Go ahead and hit that. Hit this maybe as well. Aquamarine. Okay, I just want to. I'm trying to trying to get some more bombing action going on here. I don't want. I don't want to be the coward that staircases through literally everything. Plus, we also want to rely on these shafts. Now that we're past our treasure room phase. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on. Now that we're past our treasure room phase, we're not as scared of shafts as we previously were. 
much more inclined to take them. There we go. Those, those serpents are so scary. They're just so freaking big. Like, they don't need to be that big. Concerned Ape, why? Why do you do this? This this is like a little baby one, and even it's like a massive chonker. Alright, I don't see many rock clusters, so I'm just going to staircase out of here. Make your rock cluster here, though. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Keep just checking real quick for any radioactive ore potential. There we go. Guaranteed by the oh my god. <laughs> Guaranteed if I was if I was rocking the infinity blade, I would be take I would have eaten like half my stack of pineapples by now. There's there's no shot. I would be doing this well. We're still taking damage no matter what. That's just an inevitability here. Could you imagine this place with monster musk though? Uh, <laughs> hold the phone, hold the phone. Everyone hold, everyone hold. We're not staircasing out of here just yet. This is my floor and I intend to protect it. Excuse me, sir. You can just get out of here at any time. There we go. Alright. Quick little bomb. Perfect. Beautiful. Ooh, bee seeds? Just a just a blue cowboy hat, you know what? I can uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Might as well. Ye freaking ha. We got no hat in our slot right now, so might as well invest. Invest in ourselves and our drip. A little chi gem. I forgot that that's a thing that can happen. Probably eat a pineapple at the end of this floor just to be on the safe side. If not right now. I come back and Argon's in an infested skull cavern. I need I need to live a little, you know? We're not gonna get many opportunities to do this if we if we stick strictly to the guns of things that we need to do. Like we if we if we're going only for perfection from here on out, we'll we'll never get like any combat again. I need to know what it what it's like to to live, and I, you don't get this you don't get this kind of feeling anywhere else of being chased by three royal serpents. It's an adrenaline high like no other. Bruce platter definitely pulling its own its own weight here. We got another one in reserve for when that inevitably runs out. I'm gonna go ahead and staircase I think on this one. Thank Yoba for the Slime Charmer ring, for the record. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Good hits, good hits. Okay, we don't even need to go all the way to that staircase. That's nice. You love to see it. What the heck are you even doing here? You're, you, should, you should be in floor on floor 80, not floor, like, 800 million. We're not quite that deep in the Skull Cavern, I guess, but, you know. The sentiment is there. That bat was just very confused. Ooh. Didn't even know that that was an option. I thought they could only get those from uh, from the slimes that that displayed them in their corpus. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, get them out of here and bomb, and hopefully find a find a staircase this way. Curiosity lure. This episode of Skull Caverns is sponsored by Curiosity Stream. I know I shouldn't be talk. I shouldn't be going off on tangents and banter when I'm in the middle of a, of a life or death scenario such as this. But has anyone used Curiosity Stream before? Is, do they know if it's good? I've heard good things from people who have been sponsored by them, but obviously there's a bit of a bias there. Does anyone actually use the service? It's like a, it's like Netflix for primarily for like documentaries and educational purposes, right? Something like that. We're not making it to floor 100 at this rate, by the way. We're gonna we're gonna inevitably have to staircase a lot of this, but I'm just having fun. Let me have my fun. Trying to catch up with the Vaz, but you're still on number 15. Godspeed to you, uh, 
Brianna. Ooh, this is good. Is that is that Bri Brianna? I think that's how you'd say that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, roots platter, sure. And pineapple. And triple shot. Need to re up. Now. You send it. You send them back where they came from. Send them packing. Make them regret ever coming faith, ever coming toe to toe with you and your dagger. That's right. This is my house. This is my house. This is my mine. The place I made, I called home for several streams as we tried to get all our seeds. Dagger moment, Gale. I will brook no misspeaking of the dagger. You can see for yourself it is is doing amazing things here. We are running low on bombs. That is somewhat concerning. Watch out for the Pepper Rex. He's just he's just vibing though. He's not hurting anybody, so I'm not gonna worry about him. Uh you know what? This is a staircase moment. Send it. Wait for it. Wait for the timing's got to be perfect here. You gotta just dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That's good. That's, I'm just taking that. We could have farmed some more loot from the monsters, but what good is loot when you're literally dead? There should be like the ultimate version of this quest where you it combines the hungry challenge and the skull cavern invasion into one massive horrible state of being. Know what I mean? You just can't you can't eat and it's invaded and it's permanently monster musked. Sign me up. I'll go in. I won't even take any staircases. I'm I'm confident. I'm confident in my abilities. Maybe I shouldn't be though. I've been eating a lot of pineapples today. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure Habu could do it though. And if and if Habu can do it, then why not me? Why not now? Mm. Ooh, some jades. You know, I'm just gonna staircase out of here. I'll leave you guys to it. 6, 10 p.m. I think we start staircasing at floor 40. Just like we go full staircase meta at that point. I've had my fun around here. I've proven my point. How do you do this without staircases? <laughs> you just gotta be, you gotta be faster, obviously. I mean, you gotta be more prepared than I am. I'm kind of taking a very lackadaisical approach to this. And just the fact that I have literally thousands of staircases in reserve is what's going to make this super easy for me. Speaking of. But the people who can like do this sort of stuff without very many staircases at all, honestly, like huge props to you. It is not easy. It ain't easy being cheesy. Ooh, that's good though. Seems so weird to me to ignore the Iridium Ore. Okay, we have no no longer any use for Iridium Ore. At least not for... I mean, we have use for Iridium Ore in the form of, like, Crystallarium, so we have so much Iridium Ore back at home that it's just a non-issue, thankfully. I'm, I'm happy enough to be in that uh, position. Little Shaft. Little, little pineapple for good luck, I guess. I was trying to actually just go down the shaft, though. Five levels. Ooh, right into a treasure room, too. Dark cowboy hat. I got one at home. Thanks. All right. Yeah, from here, I think we're just going to go ahead and staircase to floor 100. And if you're upset about it, you can take it up with... Uh... You can take it up with Krobus. Oh, that's a nice, nice little surprise. Just serve me up a radioactive ore on a silver platter. I will take it. We gotta defeat the guardian of the ore first, though. The secret of the ooze. Still in year two and happy about any iridium? Yeah, early on in the game like that, you definitely want to take any iridium you can get. There was a very long portion of this challenge where we were struggling for iridium. It wasn't until we got our statue of perfection, courtesy of Grandpa, that we actually... Really started breaking it in. Look at that. Did <laughs> you see that serpent? He was just a head, man. He was just a, a head chilling in space time. 
What the heck? Get, get me out of here. Looking for any chi gems in these slimes as well. Little red slime egg. You know what? We got we got too many of those at home. We're not taking any more with us. We're never going to hatch all the ones we have regardless. I don't want to add to the pile. It's a baby. This area is infested. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> Say no more. Sayonara. Ooh. I do like the look of prehistoric floors. You don't see them that often, so that anytime you do see them, it still feels kind of special and cool. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm I'm in a safe spot here, so I'm gonna bomb myself. More radioactive ore. Ooh. We'll take it. For the record, I don't think that uh, putting radioactive anything into a furnace, a f like a, just a hand-stoked furnace with coal and all that stuff, is necessarily the best idea. Stardew Valley is not a realistic game at the best of times, but that might be one of the more egregious examples of something you definitely should not do. Don't recommend putting anything radioactive in near a heat source like that. Um, I want the chi gem. I want the chi gem and that pink cake. I'm not backing down. Okay, I might back down. No, I'm not backing down. Never. We fight for our right for pink cakes. We fight for the right to pink cake. I'm not afraid, and you shouldn't be afraid either. Everyone, hold on. We're gonna get through this one together, okay? Just buckle down. This is a storm. It's a storm that we have to bear out, okay? It's fine. It's fine. That's a lot of bats, though. That's a lot of bats. That's a lot of chi gems. That's a lot of chi gems. Okay. Where's the pink cake? Give me the pink cake. I will take that pink cake off your hands. Thank you very much. Pink cake. And the chi gem. There's one of you with a chi gem still? Gimme. Okay. Little spooky? But I'm glad that I stuck it out, honestly. I'm glad I didn't resort to coward strats. Now we just keep on sending it. You're very afraid? There was no reason to be afraid. You were in safe hands. Have I ever let you down so far, chat? Have I let you down one time so far? Ever? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Smash cut to me... Hit, going for a hit on Calico Jack when I have a 20. Alright. Let's put all our good stuff away here. Let's put away everything. I'll keep the pineapples because we're going to possibly go volcano dungeoning. Um, probably trade some of this iridium ore for mega bombs. Do a little of that. Leave these here. Bring the watering can with us. We gotta swap out our shoes here, real quick. These shoes are made for walking. Bring that, and let's go. I actually hit on a twenty. I did. <laughs> are you saying? Are you saying you wouldn't have hit on a twenty, Karita? Not even one time, just to see, just to know the rush. Inventory full. We don't need... What don't we need? We technically don't need the pink cake, really, but it's the spirit of it that counts. I just want to trade for Mega Bombs. I'm going to get rid of... I mean, I, I we do want coal. I'm going to get rid of the stone. We can always deconstruct staircases. It's fine. There we go. Quickly pop over to Sandy. At the 11th hour twist for some milk. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Just grab some milk. For old time's sake. Alright, and we're on our way out now. Toss the dagger. <laughs> I can't believe after all this time, after everything you've seen it do, that there's still people that disrespect the dagger like this. 
I think I've more than proven that the dagger is worth its place in our inventory. We'll grab that probably tomorrow. And deal with the ram ramifications thereof. There's still so many dagger disrespectors. The dagger disrespector has logged on. Alright. I'm off to bed. You have four of them? Yeah, but none of them are this good. This is this is our beautiful enchanted one. Alright. I will grab this, because we're probably going to do more volcano dungeoning pretty soon here. Grab this. Mega Bombs on the hotbar is a little spooky with all our new fun decorations around. But I trust myself. Sometimes you gotta put a little faith in yourself, too. A little extra two gold for the sap. You could toss the dagger, he has like three more. But it's enchanted! We put so much resource- this is- this was our first. This is our first love. How can you all talk so, like, nonchalantly about tossing the dagger? When you know, we, we put sentimental value on the stupidest things around here. You think I'm not going to put any kind of value on the on the dagger that's been with us through thick and thin, this blood-stained piece of work? It's been with us through so much. And you dare say, oh, he has three more, four more in reserve. Come on! Like... I thought we were all on the same page, Chad, after eight long years of Stardew Valleying. How can you not, uh, how can you not understand this? Alright, Timby. Need some water. Need some water. Need some love. I, I understand. There you go, buddy. And we don't have the means to enchant another? We have the, we have the means, sure, but it wouldn't be the same. This is the first one. This is the first one. You might be able to not tell the difference between them. Like, a normal person wouldn't be able to? But chat, come on. Alright. First marble brazier officially made. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know how many of these I necessarily want. I know we had three braziers at the other uh, obelisk. I don't know if we're gonna invest in three or if we're just gonna go for like two, but for right now it's off to a good start. Get some more gold ore smelting for Crystallarium goodness. Hey there, June. Welcome, welcome. Happy to see you. Alright. We're gonna go swing our way over to Ginger Island, do another Volcano Dungeon run. We're looking for Dragon Tooth Shiv or Ostrich Eggs. Both of them are good potential for us. They're good wood. Dragon Dagger, more iconic than Aiden Pierce's hat. I'm gonna pretend I understood that reference. I don't know who Aiden Pierce is, though. But heck yeah. It's it's iconic. I don't know, we're I guess we're just rocking this blue cowboy hat now, by the way. It kind of does fit with the with the outfit we got going on here, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. You know what, Dragon Tooth? You can welcome to the party. Probably don't do that. Oh, uh, that's fine. Then let's bring a roots platter. And head on in. We can we can trade some of these dragon teeth for the record for one of the saplings that we need. I think what what do you what else do you trade for saplings? You trade uh it's 75 muscles for the other sapling that we need, right? Something like that. Man, this feels so peaceful after the Skull Cavern invasion. I may have spoken too soon. There we go. The music is more peaceful, that's for sure. Need to get the prismatic cowboy hat. The cowboy hat is the second coolest cowboy hat. Or the blue cowboy hat is. It's a very good cowboy hat. 
Doesn't hold a candle to the lucky bow, but we'll take anything we can at this point. Any port in a storm, as far as I'm concerned. That is a chest. It's not the rare chest that we're looking for, but it's still worth consideration. Never know you can get some extra tarot tubers out of it, right? Or, or a golden coconut worth literally nothing. Cool. We can't even tailor this son of a gun. We already, I mean, we could, but we already tailored one, so it's like, we, it's just, just re extra grist for the mill. It looks like there should have been a chest there, but maybe there can only be one chest per floor. I have no idea. It felt like there should have been a chest there. That's all I'm saying. Dragon tooth? Dragon tooth? No dragon tooth? I feel betrayed. Oh, I gotta get way the heck over there. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let's deal with with these sons of guns here. Wait, the dragon tooth is hiding. It's hiding in this in this guy in the lava lurker. I feel like invincible. Like the the little nicks and scrapes and getting from these super like weak cinder shards, not cinder shards, but magma sprites. <laughs> Literally got neither word correct. Oh, I need another pressure plate too. Nothing compared to the to the harsh bite of a royal serpent. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Pressure plate, pressure plate. Just shout if you see a pressure plate. Oh, I see it. Okay. Ah! That's me shouting because I saw a pressure plate. <laughs> Dual wield coconut drip. Put on two coconut bras. Why not use the Dragon Tooth Club? Because we don't respect clubs around here. They're the, they're the worst weapon in Stardew Valley, the worst weapon type, so we we just can't uh, can't bring ourselves to stoop that low. Dragon Tooth, Shiv, or Bust, as far as I'm concerned. Hopefully we'll get it uh, in relatively short order. You know, knowing, knowing our luck, we might get the... Well, I guess knowing our luck, we'll probably just get the Dragon Tooth Shift today. But there's potential that we'll just get the Dragon Sword. The Dragon Tooth Sword, whatever it is. The Dragon Tooth Cutlass, I think it's called. Instead. Alright, I will take... Uh, take this guy out real quick. There we go. Speaking of Dragon Teeth. You do not own a horse, by the way. Semi-frequent reminder that you do not own a horse. Alright. We're through there. We don't even need to refill our water and can. Feels so nice to be this powerful. How far we've come. How far we've come from uh, our meager start of planting mixed seeds in a detritus-ridden field at the start of this run. It's It, it, it feels good to be powerful. And it's so funny because we're not nearly as powerful as most other people are at this point in the game because uh, we have other limitations on ourselves. Like, we're still rocking a steel pickaxe, a basic watering can. Literally, like, zero iridium tools at all. They're just not in the budget. I'm out of here. We do still have 12 slots, 12 inventory slots. We've never gained an inventory slot. Not even in the form of Junimo chests. We never realized that uh, that dream. And you know what? I'm kind of happy for it. I'm kind of happy that we didn't end up uh, going for Junimo chests. I don't think they would have been as good as I would have wanted them to be regardless. But now we can officially say we've gone through this entire challenge. We've gotten perfection without ever having upgraded our backpack. We've got to be in a very, very small subset of people that have achieved that. It might literally be just me. <laughs> Do you think that there are other people out there who weren't, like, doing a challenge or, or maybe we're doing some other kind of challenge? 
that have gotten perfection with with this few inventory slots, or are we paving the way as pioneers yet again for uh, for generations to come? I never even thought about that. It's kind of cool though. Just goes to show that it, it only it takes a little ingenuity and a little patience, but you can get there. You can do it. Get the key to the town, break into Pierre's, and steal the backpack. We do have the key to the town. I've never, I've never been inside Pierre's like after he's closed. I don't think. Have a good one, Jay Jinx. Thank you for tuning in. All right, looking for the most legendary of legendary chests. Hit me with it. That's a legendary chest right there. It's a straight shot to it too. This is a, this is a rare occasion indeed. Let's clear an inventory slot just to be on the safe side here. I will get rid of this two coal. It's not gonna make or break me. What do we got? Ooh, not dragon tooth, but dragon scale. These shimmering boots are extremely tough. New drip. Honestly, maybe even better than an ostrich egg or a dragon tooth shiv. I totally forgot that that was a thing that could happen. Let's get out of here and then we'll model our new drip. How fancy. Little dragon scale boots. Plus seven defense too. Look at those purple shoes. Oh my gosh, we might have we reached peak shoe fashion. These might be the best shoes in the game. These shimmering boots are extremely tough. No disrespect on the custom-tailored leprechaun shoes. We also don't have any immunity on these things, but plus seven defense is nothing to scoff at. Look at the heel on that thing and the, the pointed toe. You could kill a man with these things. We need argon drip. These boots were made for step and you said it. That is very fancy looking. I like that. I very much like that. We might, we might be due for an outfit change just to try and match these shoes. I'm not even joking. I think it might be uh, it might be worth looking into. For right now, let's we'll go ahead and leave these behind here. Um, bone fragments. You know what? Bone fragments will hold on to for tarot tuber potential. And let's go. I'm assuming immunity has something to do with debuffs. I still don't know to this day what immunity does. I would I would guess the same thing, Purple, that immunity makes you somewhat more resilient against debuffs, but defense has to be the better stat to worry about, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, let's head home. New outfit time? Absolutely. Time for a fashion show? Check it off on your bingo card if you're if you're still playing the bingo. I haven't mentioned the bingo card in a hot minute, but there was a bingo card out there for Price of Perfection streams. Should still be able to find it in the Discord, probably. Do you like dragon boots or clowning around? The Cinder Cloud shoes have a certain have a certain aesthetic about them, but I don't think they can they can step literally to the dragon scale boots. These have to be like the highest defense boots in the game, right? There's, they must be plus seven defense. I've never seen anything higher than that. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and we'll drop off our thing here. I, I like the fashion hat. Maybe we can work this into our uh, into our daily drip. Little fashion hat. I think the pants. We need to rework on the pants. But what pants do we go with here? A little skirt. We could try the skirt. We could try just like regular pants, regular farmer pants. We don't have a lot of options for pants, do we? I do kind of like the skirt. We could also dye. We we could we could dye some of these th things. If we wanted to. We could try and go for like a more lilac centric outfit. What do we think? Is there anything that's worth the? Uh... We could also we could also mix up the shirt as well. 
I'm not opposed to that. Soft arrow shirt. When the heck did we even get this thing? I don't think that's it. Welcome back, Mabby. Let's see. Arcane hat? Arcane hat might have some, uh... Some, some recourse? No, I don't think so. I think the fashion hat, you gotta go with it. Fashion hat? I do like... Where is the... The tube top? The tube top's kind of fun. I think it's more beach attire, though. I do like this shirt, too, honestly. Kind of a nice shirt. I feel like maybe you want to stray away from green for the first time in a while. Green is Chloe's color, but we might have to try new things out. S expand our horizons, you know? Prismatic shirt, maybe? Green buttoned vest. And yeah, we need more purple to tie into the boots. I'm with you. Yeah, this, is, this, this ain't it here. But it's... I honestly don't know if the hat is it, either. The fashion hat? Like, honestly, at this point, I'm feeling like the very first outfit that we had, the one that we when, that we were rocking originally, is the best fit so far. But I don't know if it's the fit I want to go with for forever, you know? Green tunic. Little original Chloe. skirt. I think if we dye the skirt, there might be something to be said about this. So 80 shirt. And we dye this skirt. I think there's I think there might be something to this. So I'm going to I'm going to rock with this for right now. And maybe we just go no hat. No holds barred, no hat. Or we could try a different hat. The blue cowboy hat was Doing something for us. It's a little cowgirl chic. We could try red cowboy hat. We have the dark cowboy hat. We have options here. The fedora. <laughs> the chi mask. Don't know about this. Definitely not. We look like an actual clown. You can dye things at home. Can you dye things at home? Is that is that true? I thought you had to go to the dye pots to dye things. What about hair bone? Hair bone hasn't had its day in the sun yet. I don't know if this is this is its time yet though. Honestly, I kind of I'm kind of okay with this. I feel like Maybe we're overcomplicating things. Maybe we just go like this. Maybe we dye the skirt a little bit. And, uh... And I'm okay with that. Or we go zero hat. Put the item and a rainbow shell in the sewing machine. Do I have a rainbow shell? Rainbow shell. So I would put the item that I want to dye. In this case, it would be the skirt. And the rainbow shell. And it's cha it changes it. It changes the color. Does it change the coloration? Or do I do it like... No, it's not like that. So if I did like this... Okay, so it, it, you can sort you can sort of affect the coloration to a certain extent. I see how it goes. Ooh. A little brown skirt. What? So we want we want something purplish in order to make that work, right? If we want to go kind of like lilac. Like what if we go like sea urchin? Probably not. Probably just use a default sea urchin. The shell will give you a slider to choose the color. It didn't look like it was going to do that, but maybe can, we can try it. Yeah, because that's not it. 
I'll, I'll, I'll trust you guys. If you're saying to try the rainbow shell, I will try the rainbow shell. Rainbow shell opens the dying menu. Let's have a look-see. Rainbow shell, skirt, and it opens the dying menu, you're telling me. It totally does. Okay, I was I was concerned for a minute there. I thought I'd just been baited. But alright. So it actually this actually works. This is kinda kinda interesting. So we wanna go, do we wanna go like match it? I th I think like a lighter like we don't want to match the the shade of the boots exactly. We probably, probably want a lighter shade, and then maybe we go. We might honestly also invest in a lighter color of shirt. We could go with like a pink skirt as well. I think this might be this might be Chloe's pink purple era. How do we feel? Lilac is the right choice. I think lilac like this. How do we feel about this coloration of skirt? Or do we go like deeper purple? Do we go lighter? Or is this uh, is this somewhere in the right ballpark? Yeah, we'll keep we'll make a duplicate shirt because we can definitely do that. This is made from a cactus fruit. We got plenty of those. Amazingly enough, heart shirt with this. Seriously, I could try the heart shirt. Yeah. With pink, you're starting to blend in with Haley. Okay, so I think this is a good spot for now. We can get more rainbow shells if we need to, in theory. <laughs> I don't know if we have that much control over that. Um, heart shirt. Someone was saying heart shirt. A little heart shirt with this. I don't know if I like it. I mean, I like the the pink. The pink goes nice, but I think the uh, I think the black is not where you want to be. <laughs> Maybe a little bobo shirt. Arrow shirt might work now. Arrow shirt. It's a little too much. It's a little much. I don't know if it's like all. It's like the exact same color almost. <laughs> I think I want like a pink version of this go going on. I think that's where I want to be. We'll hold out for another rainbow shell because I don't don't think we have any more beyond what we have. And for right now, let's just rock with what we had so that we're not getting too confused about it. Yeah, I think I think this is fine for right now. We've spent enough time modeling here. We've been here for like 15 minutes. <laughs> I think this is totally fine to just rock with. And then we can uh, wait for more rainbow shells from Demetrius or something. Or we can go forging our own ones. Either way, I'm just going to go to bed. You can dye the heart. The, the heart's not the part that I would want to dye. I would want to dye the uh, black part. Good to know, though. No worries, buddy. It's it's Monday, new day for new Chi Quest. Let's see if we can make it happen. I want to trim the beginning of the video clip, but it'll take like four hours to render. I'm not sure what video clip you're you're speaking of there, Mobby trying to think back if there was a discussion that I missed out on or not, am not remembering properly. I've had issues with with rendering speeds in the past though. It can be it can be quite annoying to deal with to say the least. I've had days where I've had to leave my whole my computer on for like literally like 12 hours to render a video, to render a long one. I think that's what I had to do with the no level up challenge when it came down to that honestly. I did not have the best computer for doing that at the time. Now my computer is much better about rendering things very, very quickly. It's actually built for that, so that's very nice. All right, I think we go Volcano Dungeon again after we check the Chi room. Let's do it. Did the hard mode mines with Monster Musk. That's that's a yikes. That's a, you survived. You lived to tell the tale. 
My goodness. Congratulations. Your whole wardrobe IRL is black t-shirts? I think I think we could definitely make a black t-shirt work, but I don't know if it's I don't know if the heart t-shirt is necessarily it. Cheese cuisine and cheese prismatic grange. Still no danger in the deep, huh? I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna complete either of these. I'm probably not gonna complete that one. That was a bit of a hassle to complete the first time. We'll take this one for right now. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna have it so that we have a smaller pool of quests to choose from next week because it's a 14-day quest, right? So we'll wait. We'll hold the on to that until next week, until next Monday, and then we will have a smaller pool to choose from for quests. So in theory, danger in the deep should be more likely. That's my plan right now. I'm going to stick to it. I don't know if it, if the math works out that way, but it makes sense in my head, and that's what counts for me. Do a quick little dance as we head our way to the volcano here. All right. I was doing this a little bit last time. We're going to try it again here. It did give us some good luck, I think. New pole. Ostrich. Egg. Will will we find either an ostrich egg or dragon tooth shiv specifically this run? Yes or no? Place your bets now. Everybody get it ready. I will grab a roots platter real quick. And I'll be on my way. 81% believers right off the bat. You'd love to see it. The optimism is always appreciated. Quickly grab a dragon tooth from this guy. Extra luck. Or from this guy. This guy might have it as well. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, you know what? He's not cooperating. I'm not going to play by his rules. I'm not going to sit there and beg for a dragon tooth. If he wants to come and offer it to me, then I'm going to be more than happy to take it off his off of his toothy maw. Like so. Except not, unfortunately. Maybe our dragon tooth luck has finally run its course. Could it be? We did forsake the dragon tooth the dragon teeth for a little while. We haven't gone actually properly hunting for dragon teeth in a long bit. So maybe they think we don't care about them anymore. But we definitely do. I still appreciate dragon teeth. Don't, don't let me forget to go trading dragon teeth for a sapling at some point, by the way. It's for a banana sapling, I'm pretty sure, right? Is the one that we're on the lookout for. Not the, not the one to look out for, but that we want for the for decorating our island obelisk area. I mean, we want both saplings, but we still need to. I guess we need to get more muscles if we want to get both saplings. I don't think we have anywhere near 75 yet, so we might have to go muscle node shopping again. Did we ever tailor a dragon tooth? I honestly don't remember. What does a dragon tooth tailor into? I can probably tell you if you have it. I feel like we did, and then whatever it made was not that memorable, unfortunately, but maybe we just haven't done it yet. Respect the dragon tooth. Respect it. We gotta we gotta get get another one from this son of a gun over here. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> That's a dagger moment for sure. The dagger does have its shortcomings. Literally. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on. There we go. That's more like it. All that for two bone fragments. A bit of a slap in the face. Keep on riding though. We did tailor one, but I forgot what it made. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought we'd basically we'd already tailored one. It was just uh, kind of underwhelming, unfortunately. 
on the Dragon Tooth Shiv yesterday, which is a shame because I'm not really the dagger kind of person. That's the unfortunate reality of the Dragon Tooth Shiv and, and daggers in general is that the people who find the rare ones are never going to use them. Because so many people are dagger disrespecters. Or just, you know, are not good with the dagger, which I can also understand. That's no fault of, of your own if you're just not good with the dagger's playstyle. I can totally get that. As long as you're willing to respect that the dagger, when you do know how to, when you, or not when you know, I guess, but when you're, when you feel comfortable with its playstyle, is officially the best weapon in the game. Best weapon type. And I'm not even memeing. You might think that I'm, that I'm playing this up for the memes or that it's like a joke. I've officially come around to being a dagger appreciator full time. At least in the late game. I think there's a case to be made that the early game daggers are trash. They just don't have the the damage or the crit power or anything to, to hold a candle to some of the early game swords and stuff. But late game with this dwarf dagger, the dragon tooth shiv, iridium needle, Galaxy Dagger or an Infinity Dagger, presumably, all these things. I think there's, uh, I think they're really coming to their own in the endgame like this. Ooh, a Mystic Stone. I didn't even re realize those things could show up in the volcano. I feel like we haven't seen one yet. Quickly grab a, a Prizzy here. Or not. Ooh, that is a lot of gold, though. I'll take that over the iron. And honestly, over the Iridium as well. Hmm, probably don't want to bomb that. I probably just want to mine it. Still got it. Excuse you, get out of here. Daggers are great for killing ghosts since the special move holds the ghosts in place. I have noticed that too. I was I, I was told that way earlier on in the streams that daggers are good for killing ghosts, but the only dagger I had at the time was like a some kind of crystal knife level four piece of garbage. And it didn't really work out for me, and I thought people were just trolling me. But now I understand. Now I truly understand. I have seen the light. And at last I see the light. Where's that from? I honestly don't know. Rare chest, by the way. Rare chest incoming. It could be the ostrich egg. It could be the dragon tooth shiv. Let's clear out the riffraff so we have our moment in the sun here. That's from Tangled. That's right. Okay. Ooh, Ostrich Egg Believers! Coming in clutch at the last possible moment with a little Ostrich Egg. There we go. It may be the world's largest egg again. 82% confirmed. You'd love to see it. That's another, uh, that's another item off the cooking agenda in theory. I think we have to go up this way, don't we? Quickly sneak on by. Just don't, don't mind the spikes. <laughs> Alright. And... There we go. We outta here. I don't remember how many more eggs we needed. I mean, we can probably find that out very quickly here. Let's see. We needed Void Mayonnaise, so a Void Egg or Void Mayonnaise from Krobus slash the Void Salmon Fish Pond for that. Um, need one egg for a pink cake, two egg, three egg, one egg, two egg, three egg, blue egg. Um, three eggs. We need four eggs total. Four eggs total plus possibly a Void Egg for the Void Mayonnaise. So that's 25% of our of our egg requirements right there. You'll love to see it. You know what? I'm just going to farm Warp Totem out of here. There's a reason they're there. Auspicious sign for the Winter Star. Could you imagine? This might be the year of the egg. It is our first year of getting Void Eggs, and not our first year of Ostrich Eggs. That was last year. 
but this is where we're predominantly getting our ostrich eggs. We could be... We could be foretelling a beautiful story here, potentially. So I think we wait for all of our eggs before we do the last bout of cooking. I think that'll be more, uh, more fun. Anyway, I guess we're off to bed. I will laugh if you get all the vo all the eggs you need from the Volcano Dungeon and the Void Salmons give you nothing. I think we've already gotten two Void Eggs from the Void Salmon Fish Pond. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we got one to ship a while back, and then we got one for cooking. So they are carrying their weight. They're basically like, from, from way back in the day, the Super Cucumber Fish Pond, how we were relying on them for Iridium. I think it's roughly the same odds. pay out every now and again. I was hoping that they would pay out today. That would have been great timing, but it's all good. Ooh! Okay, okay. <laughs> Demetrius heard our plea. What are we... We're, we were gonna tailor a cactus fruit, right? Tailor another cactus fruit? And get a new 80 shirt to try and die with this thing. Let's give that a whirl. Gonna have to wait. How long does the loom take? Do, will, will, I, will I be standing here for a very long time, or is this uh, is this like a seed maker or deconstructor situation? Take a quick sip while I wait. Can you imagine substituting ostrich eggs for chicken eggs in an actual recipe? Beyond that, can you imagine buying a carton of 12 ostrich eggs? For, uh, <laughs> at, at the grocery store or something like that? It's gonna take a while. Four hours according to the wiki? Okay, we'll come back for it then. We'll drop these off here so that they're handy when we're ready, and let's just go do another volcano dungeon run. Seven years, four hours, five days. It's been 84 years. The size of the carton. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger car to get them home. Absolutely. Are you able to just, like, buy ostrich eggs? Is that a thing you can do? From, like, a special website or something? Or is that super illegal? And then follow-up question. Do the, ostr do the ostrich eggs come, like... What would you call that? Pasteurized? So that they're not, like, gonna hatch into an actual ostrich? Or do you gotta take care of that one yourself? I don't- I don't know. I'm not in the market for an ostrich egg, personally. Not yet, but maybe you can change my mind right here and now. You have an ostrich egg lamp. That sounds cool. 525,600 minutes. An ostrich egg lamp. So you like you turn like the shell of an ostrich egg into a lamp? Do you like hollow it out? Or is it like an ostrich egg? I mean, I, you'd have to. Like you can't just like leave an ostrich egg because it would it would go bad. You don't want to. No one wants a stinky lamp. And you can quote that. One ostrich egg costs thirty dollars. 75 bucks online. Ostriches are farmed for meat, but I don't know how their eggs taste. I've never tried ostrich meat. That sounds interesting. Ooh, a little dragon tooth. We did go to a place for my sister's birthday last year. I probably told this story already, but they had, they had some exotic meat on the menu there. They had, like... I think they had, like, rattlesnake meat. They had, uh, kangaroo. I didn't try any of it, but it was, it was there. It was interesting to see. Maybe I should have tried it. Maybe it's, I mean, I can always go back. I know where the restaurant is. It's, like, it's several hours away. It was quite a drive. But it is, uh... To drive would be willing to make. It was a great restaurant. Hmm. 
Mm, actually, I will go that way because there's cinder shards over there. There we go. Three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars is as little as possible. No, the amount the amount we've actually spent is uh, is this big number right here. You need to spend a lot more money than I would realistically like because of the obelisks and the golden clock and stuff. This is just extra right now. I'm not going for minimum earnings. That's going to be Blade's bread and butter eventually. He's planning on doing a run where he goes minimum earnings instead of minimum spendings, which is going to be even tighter constraints than what I've got. He's, he's also going to use like predictors and things. He's got no qualms about that. More power to him, honestly. I'm just a weirdo. I've got a weird warped sense of pride. But hopefully it adds to the charm. Go to the restaurant for science. For science! Yeah, Mr. White, yeah, science! I do like this floor layout. It's nice not having to worry about rocks. There we go. Feels almost like a Paper Mario puzzle. Keep on going here. All right, these magma sparklers can actually... I was going to say go die in a fire, but that wouldn't really work, work, would it? Go die in a water? Maybe? Go die in a lake? <laughs> I mean, anytime you say something to go die is like, you know... Even if it's a video game enemy, it just feels wrong. It feels mean-spirited. Like, even before I said it, I was like, can I say that and still be like PG-13? It's okay, though. There's an infinite number of them, so I don't have to feel that bad about, about killing them. Maybe they just faint like in Pokemon. Get out of here, get out of here. I want your Dragon Tooth, please. It's a little too late into the run, probably, to be having qualms about uh, about whether killing is good or not, or like it, or whether it's ethical or not. And I'm literally the Monster Slayer hero. <laughs> like, I've completed all the eradication goals, killed thousands upon thousands of monsters. Probably a little late for this conversation. Go die in a rainstorm. That would be... Uh, that's, like, akin to torture for these things, I would imagine. Being out in a rainstorm, they just, like, slowly wither away. One droplet at a time, trying to avoid them as best they can as they frantically hurry for some kind of cover. That's, like, sadistic. You know, I'll take the copper ore over the, sol over the solar essence there. Why copper ore? Why not? You can transmute that into iron and gold. In theory. If you have enough of it. Nice little weave through that floor. That was pretty good. I will take the Omni Geode over the copper ore, though, probably. Like Charmander? There's some messed up things in Pokemon. If you if you really know where to look, it's it's pretty bad. Like Charmander, like yeah, if his tail goes out, he freaking dies. Or if Spoink, Spoink ever stops bouncing, he dies. Don't even get me started on Drifloon. Everyone knows all these. If you're familiar with Pokemon and the dark side of the Pokedex, anyway. Sneak on by here. I keep, I'm, I'm so used to wearing the slime charmer ring now that I've totally, I just totally gloss over the existence of tiger slimes as a whole, which is probably not good for like future challenges where I have to come into the volcano dungeon and I, and I don't have the slime charmer ring yet, which is probably gonna happen at some point where I'll be like going through this and I'll actually have to worry about the tiger slimes. 
but I'll be so immunized against them from this challenge, against the actual threat that they pose, that I'm not even gonna think twice about it, and I'm just gonna walk into them and probably die a, a very gruesome death. Ooh, ooh, legendary chest, all right. I got a clear spot in the inventory for it. You know, I'm gonna clear out the gold ore because I think you can tr transmute that, maybe. What do you got? More dragon scale boots? These, <laughs> I mean, the boots so nice, you gotta wear them twice. We can give them the Krobus and we can be matching. Or Haley. I guess Krobus doesn't really wear shoes, does he? Same layout as the last one. It's true, that's just the dragon scale boots floor, I guess. Boots for days. Heck yeah. I don't leave this pair. I mean, this it, it can just go with the rest of our loot here, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's send it home. By now, I imagine our loom should be fully processed, and we can uh, see what's what with this dyeing process. See what kind of coloration we want to go for. So there's the cloth. Let's grab this, this, and we had this skirt. This is the skirt we want to go with, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and we'll rock that for right now. Let's get a new 80s shirt. Then you throw the shirt in here. You throw the rainbow shell up there. Then you make that. And we're going to go ahead and dye it. So, let's see. Do we like... How do we like... Ooh, the dark purple... There's something to that. Or we can go pink. What do we like? How do we like a, like a light pink? Like a, like not quite a hot pink, but or do we go like do we go full lilac? How do we feel? How are we feeling, chat? Do you want to go like a darker purple like this? Do you want to go like a like a pinkish purple? Do you want to go some, some like somewhere somewhere around here? What are we feeling? What are we feeling? Hit me with it, chat. I need your I need your input. Lilac is pretty. If we go like lilac is kind of nice. We could go like a very light lilac. I kind of like the dark, like slightly darker lilac, maybe. How do we like that? Or dark purple. This is maybe a little too blue. Or we could, like full dark purple is honestly kind of nice. I kind of I kind of vibe with this. I like the pink and the dark purple. Maybe like a like slightly lighter or slightly more like this way. Darker is good. I think this I think this is pretty nice, honestly. A bit too blue maybe. We could tend a little towards a little more pink, pinkish purple. That might be that might be our magnum opus right there. Make the skirt dark to match your hair. We don't have another rainbow shell to dye the skirt right now. We could dye it like the manual way, I guess. But I think we're going to send this one. I think... Oh, I'm, I was, I'm, I was going to say what happened, but we're not wearing it yet. I think that's pretty cute, honestly. We match our slimes! We match the slimes! Neptune lives on. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even think about that. There's so much so much purple going on. It's our it's officially our purple lilac arc. The outfit looks sick. I do like this outfit. This is really cool. This is really nice. Like I said, green will forever and always be Chloe's color, but I think purple and pink is a good secondary fit. Iridium Chloe! Iridium Chloe! All right, we're going to go to sleep. I think I'm going to hit you with one more Volcano Dungeon run. We'll do one Volcano Dungeon run today for one last shot at the Dragon Tooth Shiv and more Ostrich Eggs. And then I think we are going to... We're going to sleep. We're going to sleep the days away. For probably the remainder of the stream. <laughs> Oh, 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sleep the days away until Spirit's Eve, and then we can do Volcano Dungeon on Spirit's Eve to bide our time there. Like I said, we're not going to be doing festivals going forward, but today, this is our last year of festivals. We might as well make them count. Maybe the house should match in color. Make a, make a nice, beautiful purple house. You know what I will check real quick is I'm going to go check the tarot. Someone did say the 27th this one would be ready, but I feel like it was getting pretty close to being ready all, all ready here. How many times can I say ready? Let's see. They're not quite there. We'll check back on like the 27th, I guess. We'll check back on our next Volcano Dungeon Day, which will be Spirit Eve, which I guess is the 27th. You know what? All It all adds up perfectly. Let's go. And we sleep. Might want to use rain totems for when you sleep the days away so Krobus has more of a chance to get void eggs slash mayo. That's a galaxy brain play right there, Elizabeth. We could we could definitely invest in some rain totem activity. How many rain totems do we even have? We have 14 rain totems. Because Krobus only has a chance to give void eggs slash void, void mayonnaise on rainy mornings. So we could sway our, the odds in our favor this way. That, that's a great idea, honestly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest in it. Clouds gather in the distance. So spooky. I feel like an actual god. <laughs> Controlling the weather straight up. Okay, let's go to sleep. We'll, we'll get the coffee. I think on short days like this, when we're not sleeping, we don't worry about drinking coffee, and we'll just slowly build up our coffee reserves over time. Alright. Yeah, we'll check for void eggs, we'll check for, uh... I guess just check for void eggs, right? <laughs> That's, like, literally all we have to do at this point. Okay. Okay, void eggs, we don't even have to, When it's raining like this, we don't even have to wa worry about watering Timbeam. I do like, uh... I do like manually watering from, from time to time. I don't think... You know what, we don't need milk. I was gonna say we could forego a rain totem today. Actually, we don't... We're not gonna rain totem today anyway, because it's a uh, festival. And it doesn't rain on festival days regardless, so... We can't make that happen. I'm pretty sure that you can't do that. Could be a cool life hack in theory. How's the marble crystallarium? I forgot about the marble crystallarium. Th thank you, Drea, for staying on top of that. That should be ready by now, I think. All right, so we're actually going to be going and doing things today. So let's let's get stocked up. All right, put all this away. Make a little more triple shot. Put that away. Put these away. So many little chores, they do add up over time. Alright. Battery pack? You know what, Pam? Every little bit helps. Every little bit does help when it comes to crystallarium resources. I'll take it. Let's go grab the marble. Marbles and playthings and at half past four. There, I can't sing the rest of that song. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just started, I, I started saying the lyric and I'm like, where is this from again? I'm just, I'm just going to say it, but it's, it's very much not a song I can sing. <laughs> All right. And not because I don't have the ability. Even if I don't have the ability to sing, I'll, I'm never going to forgo the chance, but not PG-13. Alright. I like that. I like that. I think it's shaping up nicely. I think we do get one more marble brazier, and then we'll be laughing. Let's do it. We'll wait on one more crystallarium day. We're gonna go check our let's 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 go grab 
no, we can't go grab milk from Sandy. It's not that time yet. We'll go check our tarot tubers. We will go volcano dungeoning, and then we'll be just about ready for um, Spirit E, probably. He didn't recognize the song? Good. <laughs> he probably... I mean, I think it's a very niche song, too, so I don't think most, most people would recognize it even from just that one lyric. I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on the point anymore because it is a, a song that's... It's a funny song, but it's not one that's appropriate for this stream. Those streets are so beautiful. Look so good. Thank you, Luke. It's my first real attempt at decorating on my farm, and I like that it's... Uh, I like that you're... Uh, assuming you're talking about the streets on my farm. I could, I'm just kind of assuming, but... <laughs> All right, how many is this? This is... Um, 41. This is 80 tarot tubers out of the 140 that we theoretically want. So I think we go, we're going to want to seed maker some more of these. I don't think we seed maker all of them. That sounds like a bit of a grind. Or maybe we do. Maybe, maybe we'll seed maker a bunch of them when we get to, uh, when we get home. But right now I'm just going to store them. So I don't think it's going to take all day necessarily for this volcano dungeon run. So we can spend some time seed makering tarot tubers when we get home. It's a perfectly PG song. It's like it is, but it's it's it's. If I actually sang the song, you would understand why it's not. I'm not going to tread the line. Luau skirt incoming. Luau skirt will be incoming pretty soon. In fact, we could probably just go trade some of them for that right now if we wanted to. But instead, I'm going to hit you with a pole. Ostrich egg. Slash Dragon Tooth Shiv this run? Question mark. Double question mark for posterity. Ask your community. I love the single potato in the chest. I love potatoes. Mash and boil them, stick them in a stew. My community poll is not going live. At least not on my end. It's just giving me a constant buffer wheel. What is going on? Hold on, let me close my chat out real quick here and then renew chat. Yeah, YouTube's got some weird issues going on. I always have YouTube in dark mode. But the past couple days, it's been, like, just constantly switching back to light mode for no apparent reason. Let's see. So, I don't know, maybe YouTube's just struggling in general. Ostrich eggs slash dragon tooth shiv this run. Question mark. Maybe it didn't like the double question mark. We'll just stick to a single question mark. There were server, is server issues, like, a minute ago. Okay, that poll seems to have gone live. So that's that's good to see. You light mode, sorry that's happening to you. I know, I used to be a light mode Marty for basically everything. Because I was like, it's not like, it's like fine. I'd, I'd, I've been raised on light mode more or less. And I was like, just didn't know how bad I had it, I guess. And I'm always kind of stubborn towards change. But then I tried dark mode for the first time and I'm like... Wow. <laughs> it's, I don't even remember what I tried it on for the first time. It wasn't on YouTube, because I don't think YouTube had dark mode back then. Protection ring, we don't really care about that one. It was uh, it was something else, though. It was it was a world-changing experience when, you, when I went dark mode for the first time. I was like, oh my god. You had a blip in your streaming, too? Are we, are we looking and sounding good on the stream right now? It's, uh... I mean, YouTube was apparently having a hiccup there, so I wouldn't be surprised. But everything looks fine on my end right now. Dark mode also saves power. That makes sense, I guess. I don't. Is it one of those things where it like actually saves like a like a notable amount of power though, or is it one of those things where it's like, um, hey, if you just leave your lights on? at all times, then you're technically gonna like save power because the act of turning on the light bulb 
uses up so much power. So unless you're like leaving your place for more than like two hours or something, then you should just leave the lights on to conserve power. Which I, that might be a total urban myth, and I think two hours might be a bit of a stretch too, but I remember hearing that at some point. Everything looks good, good to hear. A little cinder shard over there, I'll take it. Oh, it's a little, a little dicey in here though. Getting hot in here or just me? There we go. That means you should change to LEDs. I mean, LEDs are definitely the way to go as far as just power conservation in general. I definitely do not dispute that. Man, I am loving this outfit. Just like looking at it, it makes me just like happy. I don't know if, if, if the colors purple is just like soothing in general or if that's just me. But I always had this problem in Stardew with the, when it comes to Stardew fashion that finding a good outfit to match your boots, because you can't dye boots. You can, well, can you dye boots? I've actually never tried. Maybe you can, but I don't, I don't think you can dye any boots. And finding outfits to match the boots that you want, that you actually want to wear for like defensive purposes or something, is harder than it should be. <laughs> but I think we've, we've found possibly our first real like co coinciding incident, also known as coincidence <laughs> of, uh, of coloration. I am very much a fan. Excuse you. You can only custom tailor. That's what I thought. Yeah. Which is better than not being able to dye boots at all. The fact that you're able to put them on, like put certain stats on a certain color of boot is better, but it's just not as customizable as you would like it to be, right? Not, or at least it's not, not as customiz customizable as I would like it to be, personally. But to each their own. It's not a fashion game, it's, it's merely a uh, farming game. A simulator game, I guess. And you know what? Fashion is part of the simulator, so maybe I stand by my sentiment. Little mushroom floor. Actually, I think these guys have a decent chance to drop cinder shards, maybe, so let's give them a give them a quick kill. Not that we're really using cinder shards anymore, but I'm just collecting them now. Alright. Still got plenty of time to bide before the uh, Spirit Sea Festival anyway, so... We are making good time through this volcano dungeon run, though. Starting to get kind of decent at this place. And that's with a steel pickaxe. <laughs> what do you mean, Stardew isn't a fashion game? Ooh, I like this floor layout. The, the past few times we've had this floor layout, it's always been a legendary chest. I don't know if that's guaranteed or not. But we've had it twice before, and it's been legendary both times. Come on. Let's see if uh, we're three for three. That's not three for three. It's not a guarantee. Confirmed, not guaranteed, but we'll still go for the chest out of respect for the chest. You respect loot in this house? I hate that charge so much. <laughs> charge attack gets me every single time get over here you son of a gun you sussy sprite all right I'm gonna eat a pineapple just to be on the safe side you're a lot more confident the volcano now I also have more and better tools at my disposal I have like a fully enchanted weapon I've got uh, lots of great rings lots of great I mean I lots of lots of great boots might be a misnomer but great boots in general an upgraded pickaxe that lets me mine a little more efficiently. I'm, I can't, I come here with bombs now, <laughs> as opposed to just pickaxing through literally everything. I just know what to expect more, I think, is, is where it is. Go figure, I'm learning. Alright. Cross on over to the island 
of secrets over here. Mon little monkey island action. And what do we got? It's a golden coconut. I'm gonna throw this, I'm gonna take that and throw it at whoever's head, put it in that chest. Get out of my face. Presumably as Mr. Chi, he's the only one I know who stocks chests. He's even admitted to it. He stocked the chests in the original mines. I wouldn't put him put past him to stock these chests as well. Alright, little protection ring. It's only our third one. Go ahead and put away everything here. I would just farm warp totem back to the farm, but I want to stop and pick up the taro roots so we can seed maker them. That's the end of our pole, by the way, as well. End pole. Unfortunately, the, uh, what was it, 16% of doubters? 15% of doubters? They win this time. It's a rare doubter win. Alright, we'll bring these along with us. We'll quickly stop by the desert as well to get some milk. Just because we can. Actually, I don't think we can today, can we? Because it's a festival day, so Sandy might have different dialogue. But if she does, I'd kind of be cool interested to see it regardless. Have a look. I wouldn't throw a golden coconut at Mr. Chi if I were you. He'd do one of those, like, he pull one of those force moves where he just stops it in midair like an inch from his nose, doesn't even flinch. Okay, she is actually going to give us milk. Right on. For some reason, I thought she always had unique fe unique dialogue on festival days, but I guess not always. Alright, we got a few hours to kill before the uh, Spirit Sea Festival comes to fruition here. I gotta think of a good scary story. This is my last scary story that I get to tell. I need to make it a good one. I think I've got a, a good idea for a potential conceit for a story. I just need to see it. See if I can elaborate on it in the moment. It'll be interesting. All right. Everyone get ready. It's top seed makering hour. Everyone loves a good seed maker stream, right? Where we just seed maker literally like 80 tarot roots. Put your bets in now. Do you think we'll get any mixed seeds or ancient seeds out of this process of, of seed makering everything here? It's less than a 1% chance, so in theory, we shouldn't. But there's there's a reasonably high likelihood. Well, there there's your answer right there. <laughs> No mixed seeds, though. You know what? Ancient seeds. We respect ancient seeds, at least. Mixed seeds. We do respect them, but not in this context. At least one of one of either or one of each. We've, uh, we've fulfilled the ancient seed prophecy. Now it's just a matter of time to see whether we fulfill the mixed seeds as well. There's definitely a 0% chance of getting a horse. I mean, there's not a 0% chance of getting a horse. I just have to break the rules and ruin the entire run for it. But there is a chance. However slim. Hey, Remazubi. Thank you very much for becoming a YouTube member. Joining in at the Electron tier, I greatly appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. Spirit's Eve has begun in Town Square. I'll be back for you, my lovelies. Let's get to it. There's definitely a, a, a horse from Seed Makers is what you're asking. Okay. Yeah, if we got a horse from a Seed Maker, I'd definitely have questions. One of these days. One of these days. Look at, our, look at how cute we are, by the way. Look at this cute couple right now. 
the matching skirts almost. Well, not they're not quite the same color, but they're like same same style, just about. She really is rubbing off on us, isn't she? Exclamation point, Haley. Quickly, just go talk to talk to a few random people. Is Leo around here? Do you think he's in the? Oh, he is in the maze. I think we taught him in the maze last year. He's like hypnotized by the TV. Mother won't let me go into the maze. Sob. Vincent really sounds like a, like a small British child when he says mother. Very strange. Haley just says, "I'm gonna stay right here." That's it, that's it, completely accurate. It's completely accurate right now. All right, time for a spooky, scary story. Dim the lights. Reader, beware! You're in for a scare. Once upon a time, a lonely little slime was minding its own business. When along came a friendly looking black hair black haired girl. And the black haired girl smiled, and there was something very charming about this black haired girl, and the slime decided to tag along with her and come home. And it was a beautiful home. It was a lovely place. The black haired girl set up a nice little home for said slime. There was a dog who was very friendly as well. It was it was everything the slime could ever have dreamed of in a home. But then one night, one fateful night, while the slime was getting ready to do whatever slimes do at night, because they don't really sleep, but there was the slime was just sliming around at night in its little lovely home, finally feeling at peace, like it had finally found its place in the world. It hears footsteps coming from down the hall. But not the footsteps of the black haired girl or the dog who had who it had come to love and appreciate. These were different footsteps. These were ethereal, almost almost like shadows of footsteps. Even though it doesn't make any sense. Echoing down the hall that's just ka -choo, ka -choo, ka -choo. And then when the slime went to investigate there was a strange shadow that came rushing down the hall and I, and everything went black for the slime. The slime was never seen again. If you know, you know. Maybe not the greatest execution of the story, but it might be the scariest story I've told to date. Just saying. Just saying. I thought this was a scary story, not a tragedy. Why not both, right? Can you get some just just R.I.P. in chat for Neptune? R.I.P. Got a little more time here. Let's let's do a couple more rounds of seed maker and tarot roots while we try to shake off the spooks of that scariest of tales. Unfair. Can't tell real stories. Too sad. It was an embellishment of the actual events of that day because it wasn't it wasn't at night. It was like first thing in the morning. And the black girl, black hair girl's friend Karita said, "Lol, got him." <laughs> you weren't there, Karita. I mean, maybe you were. <laughs> you weren't here on Frugal Farm. You were merely an observer from beyond the uh, beyond the Matrix. All right, off to bed with us. Not forget to throw a rain totem up real quick. Rain totem for void egg potential slash void mayonnaise. And we're head to bed. I feel like Krobus is not going to give us anything. I feel like he's only gives us stuff if he's in the kitchen. He's sleeping in today. It's a rainy day. I can't blame him, honestly. Let's finish. Actually, I will, uh, I will triple shot espresso up here. Because I want to finish seed makering everything, seed makering all the taro roots, and then go plant them. What do you got for me? A little fresh sashimi for breakfast on a nice rainy morning. You know what? That's all right. That is all right by me. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this is where I want to be. I was like, wait a second, this isn't Ginger Island. But we're not going to Ginger Island just yet. Kind of feels like Ginger Island in here, though. It's got to smell so nice in this greenhouse, by the way. The pineapples, the mangoes, the bananas. It's, it's got a very tropical vibe to it. I don't know how the hops would smell. I don't know if hops even have a smell. They got to be very bitter, I would imagine. Hold on, I gotta change one setting. I forgot when I closed my chat, I gotta change back to live chat instead of top chat. Nobody knows what top chat is to this day. But I feel like live chat must be better. Hope everyone's enjoying the stream today, by the way. I'm happy to have you all around here. Oh, we almost got away without getting any mixed seeds. Right at the last possible moment, just about. Oof. Ops probably smell pretty floral. I cannot speak from experience, so I don't know. So that's 159 tarot tubers right there, which is more than what we need for our trading purposes at the island trader. So we just got to plant these. Easier said than done, unfortunately. But once they all grow in, then we'll be we'll be laughing about it. Just glad I don't have to water all these spots. Alright. Let's get the hoe out. Get the lead out as we plant everything. Some of these hot spots come pre-hoed, which is very, very nice. How long do these things take to grow? In uh, They take 10 days, grow faster, plant near body of water. But, like, how much faster? It's not a very helpful description there, game. I want to say, like, it's, like, eight days if they plant them near water like this. But I have no metrics to back that up other than gut intuition and potentially some game, de game design philosophies. Ooh, you can actually till that spot. I didn't think you'd be able to. Can I till these spots, then? No. They're just a little too close to that grassy edge. That grassy null. You got switched to top chat also. I haven't noticed the difference between top chat and live chat yet, in because I've, I've experienced both of them to a reasonable degree. And I don't, I don't think I've noticed much of a difference, if any difference, between all of them. But just based on the descriptions of them, I'm like, why would I ever want top chat? <laughs> Maybe if I had, like, a bigger, more active stream or something. This is still close enough to hit the, the wall. I guess that is three diagonal, so that's that's fair. Just surprised me. They didn't actually mean to plant the tarot tuber there. Okay, we can go a little further out here in some of these spots. But I honestly think I'm just going to, for laziness sake, I'm going to start doing a little over here as well. So I don't have to try and map out all these different spots too much. This should be almost enough room, maybe. Hard to say. We ran into this problem in the past when we tried to grow large amounts of tarot tubers. But we'll figure it out one way or another. That spot looks like it should be very hoable, but unfortunately... No dice. A lot of messages don't show up with Top Chat. That's what I worry about. I don't like because Top Chat says it's gonna try and filter out the spam messages, but I don't know if I trust the YouTube AI enough to not just filter out a bunch of random stuff that I would actually want to read. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it'll get to that point where Top Chat just uh, becomes the default, becomes the norm. But I'm not at that point in my life. I think this should work fine. Oh, we need one more spot, I think. Uh, but we can do one right here, I think. Because that's three diagonal. There you go. Alright. Terror tubers are in business, baby. Should be more than enough for all of our tradables. I will come back to Ginger Island tomorrow. In fact, I probably should have just slept on Ginger Island now that I think about it. You can do that. 
Quickly check our marble situation, though. Not quite yet. Top chat works in the VOD. When it's live, it doesn't really change. Interesting. Maybe it is more for the, uh, the live chat replay, then. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. We'll be back to Ginger Island tomorrow for our new Chi quest. Hopefully Danger in the Deep is on the menu. But if not, then it's all good. Oh, it's Krobus' birthday today. Can we get some birthday cake emojis or pumpkin emojis for Krobus' birthday? Let's grab him something special. You know, we have given him a lot of pumpkins. We've given him a lot of horseradishes. We haven't given him any prismatic shards. So you know what? Haley didn't wasn't a fan, but I think Krobus is is more than a fan. There you go. Going to sleep now. Have a good night, Mobby. Thank you for tuning in. I also need to remember to use my rain totems, so let's just go ahead and put these away for right now, because I don't really need them. We're not doing any more volcano dungeoning today. Little gold bar from Clint. quickly check the Crystallarium, because I don't know, I still don't really know how long marble takes to process. Not quite there yet. We'll, che we'll check back on that every day. That'll be part one of our things that we're checking as we sleep the days away here. He said, I love you all. Can it even rain in winter? Only with rain totems can it rain in winter, but it is possible, yes. All right, Mr. Chi, we've waited long enough. How many weeks have we checked and we have not had a single sighting of the danger in the deep quest? Is it a rare quest or is it just uh, we've been getting unlucky? I'm not doing either of those this stream. I'm telling you that right now. We already did uh, we already did both of them. So, you know what? Just uh, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. We already put in our time. It's time to go full hibernation mode. Especially now that it's winter. Winter is the season for hibernating. Can't you activate it using the shrine? I think the shrine does not appear until you get the quest. Unless I'm mistaken on that. I've gotten the quest five times in a row. I think you're just unlucky. You know what? Fair. Yo, our jack-o'-lantern! What the heck? This is just a rotten pile of mush in, in Krobus's room. That's not fair. We tend to that thing lovingly. My jack-o'-lantern. It's broken. Ooh, hold on. We got a fish taco, but more importantly, void egg. Can we get some... It, it's, it's our first egg of the season. Hopefully not the last egg of the season. That's very exciting. Why did the jack-o'-lantern die? Is it, I mean, change of seasons, I guess, but I didn't think it would be... <laughs> I, think, I thought it would be okay inside. I don't want to replace it now, because I'm worried that because it's winter, it'll just, like, shrivel and die again, but... In spring, we'll definitely fix that up. There we go, little egg. I think we take this... Well, no, we won't take... We won't void mayonnaise it yet. If we get to the point where we have all the eggs we need, then we'll void mayonnaise one of our void eggs. We'll mayonnaise five. What's the, what's the term? What's the verb for turning an egg into mayonnaise? Probably just process, but that's boring. There's got to be a more specific verb than that. Good job, Void Salmon. Agreed. Void Salmon, coming in clutch. Nice rainy day. Krobus is in the kitchen. It's a good sign. It's a good potential sign. What do you got? That's a strange bun. He went out and found it for me. He didn't make it. He didn't even make it himself. Hope it's not too strange. It's literally in the name, Krobus. 
It's all right. We know we could theoretically reset for another shot at uh, whatever he would give us there, and that could be avoid mayonnaise, but I'm willing to just ride it out. Emulsify? Is that how you make mayonnaise? By emulsifying things? I still I don't really know what emulsifying means, if I'm being honest. Alright. That is the marble. It's the last marble we need. I'm gonna get one more, just to store. In case we want to make any more marble braziers again in the future, but for right now we can just make the last one that we want here. There we go. And our beach pavilion over here is officially good. I like it. I don't know if we're ever going to use that freaking thing, but it's there if we want it. It looks nice. You're making a homogenous mixture so that things won't that make it up don't separate out. That's what emulsifying is. Emulsifying agents are the ones that allow things that normally don't mix to mix. So you can like emulsify oil and water. I don't think I've done this yet, so let's go ahead and rock it. We got a few more shots with these rain totems to make uh, make magic happen here. Probus in the kitchen again. It's a good sign. Do you like rainy days as much as I do, Chloe? Yeah, it's going to be rainy for the next little bit. Hopefully it inspires you to go find some void egg or void mayonnaise related merchandise, Probus. That's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. Anyway, now that we're officially in sleepy time hours of the stream, can we just get some sleeping emojis in chat? Sleeping faces or just the sleepy Zs? Whatever they're called. Oh, I forgot to rain totem. That's okay. Rain totem right away here, just so I don't forget. We're going to be doing a lot of sleeping in the foreseeable future. I'm not even going to go... I'm not even going to wait for Sandy tomorrow for potential at milk. We don't need to worry about that. We've got all the milk we could ever want. I'm not going to belabor the point. Thank you. Thank you for the sleepies. A little sleepy in my eye. Coconut from Sandy. Kind of disrespectful, not going to lie. What are those sleepies in your eye that I always, I always just call them sleepies, but you know like the little gunk that gets in your eye usually after a sleep? What, what is that? What's it called? What's... Is there, like, a scientific classification for what it is? And what is it made of? I don't know the answer to that question. They just percolate in the corners of my eyes, and it's unpleasant. Eye crust? I've heard it called eye crust before. I don't know if that's... Like, what... Like, just what is it? Does anybody actually know? Has there been any scientific research done into it, or is there, or have we all as a species just collectively agreed, oh, it's fine, it's just eye crust, who cares? It's like dried tears, isn't it? When my tears dry on my face, they don't turn into eye crust. I don't turn into, like, the green goblin when I, when I cry and, like, don't dry out my tears. I call it sleep, fair. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you see what I see? You can't hide from me, Omni Geodes. I got some hawkish eyes to be able to see that one. Alright, back to bed. Not even 7 a.m. I snot? <laughs> Your eyes clean themselves at night sometimes, and that's that's the residual. Uh, dirt and dust from cleaning. Am I going to enter the fishing contest tomorrow? I don't even want to go to the fishing contest, to be honest with you, Krobus, but it is our last year of festivals. We might as well see it through. Even if the ice festival isn't necessarily my favorite, it's still, it's still a festival. It's still one that we're going to see through to the very end here. 
to the bitter end, did I say? Let me check if my marble is ready. We've been sleeping a lot, so it might be. It is. I'm going to go ahead and trade this off for a jade. Trade offer, you receive a jade, I receive a slab of marble. We will need to finish up our crystallariums at some point, but I don't think we're going to worry about that this stream. Maybe that's a next stream issue. It's the wet stuff of your eyes. When you when your eyes are closed for too long, it builds up. Sounds like a scientific enough explanation to me. Alright, no rain totem today. I might have already used one and wasted it, because it's going to be a festival today, tomorrow, day... A festival day tomorrow, anyway. In Spanish, they're called Lagañas. I like that. I like actually having a proper name for it, rather than just like Sleepies or Eye Crust. Lagañas. Can we anglicize that one and just, just adopt it? A la Rendezvous? I tried my best to make human food. It's beautiful, Krobus. I could not make a poppy seed muffin in real life, so you're already doing better than me. Lasagna. <laughs> there we go. Quick little watering. Let's run off to... I'm not going to taint Krobus's beautiful breakfast by eating a largemouth bass, but thank you anyway, Linus. Run off to Ginger Island. Our taro root is probably ready. Taro roots are probably ready. Our taro root harvest. And then we can check for a danger in the deep quest as well while we're here. Of course, the festival day is the day that Krobus pays out. Krobus has two different, like, payouts though, right? Like, it's like rainy days and non-rainy days. But I don't know that, like, if it was a rainy day, he would have still paid out regardless just from his rainy day table. I don't really know how all that works. I just know that my boy loves his rainstorms, so I summon them for him by the powers granted to me from many hours spent under the earth in the Skull Caverns. Why is the watering can purple? It's full of iridium, uh, iridium water. Little known secret of the game that if you don't upgrade your watering can whatsoever through the entire game, and you bring it all the way to the bottom of the Skull Cavern, the final floor, not floor 100, but the actual bottom floor, there is a well of iridium water that you can fill your watering can with. And it causes all of your crops that you water with it to become iridium quality. We managed to make it happen amazingly enough. It has You can't have an iridium watering can though, it has to be a basic watering can. And you have to make it to the bottom of the Skull Cavern without staircases. BS. Does that does that stand for backed by science? Because yeah, it's it's backed by science. We we saw it happen in real life. No, thank you. I'll take this one to make sure it doesn't show up next week. I'll be on my merry way. For the record, if you actually want a real answer, uh, the answer is on your screen right now. I don't want to ruin the story, but. It should it should be obvious that when I hover it over hover over it like that. All right, let's go trade some of these tarot roots. I think some of the things that we want to trade for the tarot roots are daily occurrences. Like there's a rotating stock that he goes through, so we'll have to come back on specific days. I don't know what those specific days are, but I know we have several hats that we can get from this guy. Before we worry about any of that, though, actually, here's one of the one of the hats already. So small cap, I will take, and then luau skirt. After all this time, a skirt designed to make you the luau the party. Is that supposed to be a a play on the life of the party? That's a bit of a stretch. I don't know about that one. <laughs> the luau the party, though. All right, we'll wear a luau skirt in the middle of winter to the ice festival. What do you say? It's kind of nice. 
We gotta match it with our like uh like one of our coconut bras at home though. You do not, you do not own a horse for the record. Still do not own a horse, that's correct. How does this cap look though? It's just a little what's it called? It's called a cool cap or small cap. It's a more aerodynamic style of cap. I feel like a shoe built stork. What the heck? Get it out of here. I want all the drip options, but I don't know if that one's ever going to see the light of day. All right, we'll come back for those saplings at some point as well. For right now, let's just head on home. The Festival of Ice has begun near Marty's Ranch. Let's go enjoy it, shall we? The last Festival of Ice. We lost last year, didn't we? Didn't we lose to Willy, embarrassingly, in a horrific display? If I could bring my own fishing rod to the event with the auto hook enchantment here, I think it would be we'd be a ringer. Unfortunately, that might be considered cheating by the powers that be. So let's not uh, attempt fate here. I want to keep the skirt on me because I want to switch out of it. But we're going to be that weirdo that shows up in an island bikini and a luau skirt to the Festival of Ice. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry to, to degrade you so and also make you extremely cold, but here we go. How long am I streaming today? We're going to be going for another 45 minutes or so until until the next hour threshold. 4 o'clock for me, but likely not for you. All right, we're on our way. Hairbone? Hairbone would have tied it together for sure. You know what? We can go back for the hairbone. You know what? I still like hair, Chloe's hair down like this. I think this is fine. This is a cool... Who makes this sculpture, by the way? Who, who do you think made this sculpture? Because obviously Leia made this one, and Robin's in the process of making a castle there. But who makes who makes Cool Pear McGee? This is like a mascot for a drug campaign back in elementary school. He's like, hey kids... Harry the Pear says it's not cool to smoke marijuana. I don't know why it would be a pear of all things. Ooh, that was a gross sound. <laughs> I, I thought I wanted to make a cute oink oink, not like a. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sam, Sebastian, Mr. Chi. You think it was just here in the morning and then Mr. Chi left after he carved it before anyone else showed up? I guess winter isn't all bad. Playing in the snow can be fun. Maybe maybe when you're not dressed for an island getaway. Alright, Lewis. Actually, let's go talk to Willy. You gotta restore our honor. Ready for some ice fishing? Yes, and I'm gonna beat you. We'll see. Look at him. He's so smug. He remembers last year all too well. I'm coming for you, Willy. I'm coming for you. I know where you sleep. Just, you know, food for thought for thought. Alright. Let's have a fun little fishing game. Let's freaking go. Why a pair? Is it not a parent? But I'm... Argon is a zombie pigman confirmed. Did I make that sound? Like... Oh, I can't even make the sound if I wanted to, if I wanted to now. Hey there, Pikachu Bob. Just in time for some high-octane fishing experience. Yep. Just uh, everyone's favorite event. <laughs> We're off to a good start, though. Off to a very good start. We want six fish or bust. I think you only need five to win, but we need it's about proving a point. This is definitely about proving a point. Why do, they, why do I feel like they have better rods than me? Do you see how all of them have different colored rods and I just have the regular bamboo pole? Not that I want it any other way. I want to work at every disadvantage possible and still prove that I'm the best at this. But I, I'm just saying, it feels like they might be cheating. I don't know what kind of rods those are, though, because they're not iridium rods, obviously, and I don't think they're fiberglass rods, either. 
they're just other kinds of maybe they're maybe they're working at a disadvantage maybe they just found some sticks in the forest and tied some string to them and they're hoping for the best and I've, i'm the only one who's actually got the rod here willie willie probably brought his own rod he probably gets that privilege but i don't get the respect i deserve around here despite being a master angler they don't let me bring my auto hook rod which would save me Seconds. It would save me whole seconds. All right, we got to get a, a, a okay. Good bite. Good bite. It's not algae and it's not seaweed. We can do this. We can pull this out. No, don't screw it up now. We want one more fish. One more. We got 15 seconds for it. We can do this. We got to get a catch. We got it. We got to hook something. Like, right now. Like, right now. Like, there's no time. There's no time. Game, what are you doing to me? Why? Because we're not, it's not going to let us, like, reel this in, is it? So rude. The disrespect. Well, hopefully five is good enough. Five big slimy fish. That's a lot of fish. Gag the smell. You've done this so many years in a row, buddy. You should know to bring, like, a nose plug by now if it bothers you that bad. Chloe with five big slimy fish. Just call me the fish queen, baby. The fisher queen. What's the fisher king? Is that is that uh, from some kind of fable? I feel like I, it's like a character from a story, but I don't know what story or where from. Either way, I'm the Fisher Queen, and there can be no other. It was the island attire that did it, for sure. It just filled us with with adrenaline. The extra goosebumps from being so cold, we were just so, so ready to catch so many fish. Sorry, Timby. Alright, rain totem it up. Clouds gather in the distance. Let's go to bed. What on earth is a nose plug? It's a plug for your nose. It's kind of right there in the name. So that you don't smell gross things. Alright. Make a little triple shot for the road. Excuse me. Excuse me? Oh, it's fresh triple shot, because we have the cheese cuisine quest on. It's not going to stack. What the heck? All right. Fair enough. I guess we'll just use up the fresh triple shot. I didn't even think of that. That's funny, though. All right. So, like I said, I don't know what days we're able to trade our tarot root in. So instead of doing the smart thing and going to the wiki and checking which days, I'm just going to check every single day of the week until we get everything that we want. The Fisher King is part of Arthurian lore, like King Arthur and all that. That would make sense. So Luau Skirt is not what we want. Palm Wall Ornament for a, for a single pineapple. We could get a lot of those things. <laughs> Alright, nothing here. I'm a Vamoose. There was a movie called The Fisher King with Robin William and Jeff Bridges. What was it about? Was it about fishing? Like, for some reason, I feel like The Fisher King actually has nothing to do with fishing. I don't know why my brain thinks that. It just seems like one of those things, you know? He was wounded and unable to stand, and he would spend his days sitting in a boat fishing, waiting for someone to ask him the right question, which would heal him. Sounds like a him problem, honestly. Ooh, a lucky lunch, for old times' sake. Thank you, Krobus. I didn't, I didn't rain totem yesterday, so that might, that could have been a void mayonnaise in disguise. That's all right. Nautilus shell. Nautilus, thank you. I think Nautilus. The movie is not about fishing. I don't remember all of it, but it was super sad. I do like a good sad movie from time to time. Hold on, I forgot that I still have this on. I didn't even notice somehow. 
All right, Wednesday. Wednesday sticks out as a day to me where we might be able to actually trade taro roots. For my brief dive into the wiki before the stream. So let's see. What was the question that healed him anyway? Uh, it was probably like, hey, are you okay? Just someone doing a, a wellness check. Can we get some Argon Axe in chat? Quick wellness check for the Fisher King. Bluebird Mask, by the way. Some of the top tier drip of all time. It's our secret identity. We're an actual superhero now. The Blue Falcon. Look at me. It's beautiful. Wear this to look just like your favorite island trader. So he's he's a bird. That's a beak right there. I, I always thought that was like his little open mouth or something. That's actually a beak. I, for some reason, I never processed that. Look at me. Can you even tell the difference? Like, where'd the island trader go? Like, if, hold on. If I like stand like right here, I gotta I gotta do a, something like this. Look at me. Oh man. Where, where did Chloe go, honestly, actually? There's just two island traders on my screen. I don't see the difference. Very strange. OMG, we're Sonic the Hedgehog. Falco cosplay. Imagine Kirby wearing this mask. He would be an actual, just like... That, that, that honestly just might be Kirby's look when he swallows Falco in Super Smash Brothers. Either way, it's another hat for the collection. I'm not going to be smirch Chloe for too long by making her wear it like 24-7. It's kind of a novel thing. A little novelty for a fun day in the jungle maybe, but not going to worry about it. All right. Off to bed. New to the channel and to the game, welcome Nikki. Happy to have you here. Hope you're enjoying your Stardew Valley experience so far, wherever it has taken you. Hope you're enjoying the stream as well. You're among good people. You're among good company. It's more Sanic than Sonic. Gotta go fast. Alright, I think we have one more piece of drip to pick up with these tarot roots. And I don't... I think it's a cowboy hat of some kind. But I don't know if it's today. We're going to go check, though. Now you have to go to Spirits Eve next to you. You have a costume. <laughs> it's true. We never actually did wear a costume to Spirits Eve the entire time, did we? Alright, what do we got here? Volcano photo. Can be placed inside your house. That could be a nice little decor thing. We could consider that for the future, but it's not what we're actually here for. Why are we making it rain? Because Krobus has a chance to give void mayonnaise and void eggs on rainy mornings. So we're reasoning up the rain totems that we got as a sort of, not last ditch effort, but an additional effort to get those. And if it doesn't work out, no big sweat. It's just, uh, we'll just have to wait for natural rain or our void salmons. All right, throw up another rain totem, speaking of. Ah, let's gather in the distance. Spooky. You love to see Krobus and Timby spending some time together. Glad to see that they're getting along. As long as you don't go anywhere near uh, the second floor, Krobus, I think we'll be fine. I think we will be okay. 50 wood, that's all right. Friday. Friday's got to be a good day for the island trader. He's got to have some fresh drip for sure. Friday is always a good day for a rock bottom deal. Hit me with it. That's a deluxe cowboy hat with a more extreme shape. Extreme! Let's see how extreme this cowboy hat is. That's a pretty extreme cowboy hat. Look at the curve on that thing. 
That's a, that's an actual bell curve. Oh my goodness. You're going to look this girl in the eyes and tell her she does not have a horse? How can you wear this hat without having a horse? Holy heck, that's a, that's a good looking hat, honestly. I like that hat. Extreme yeehaw. Cow, cowgirl mode fully activated, officially. And they're still telling me I don't own a horse. I do not own a horse, sorry. The disrespect. The disrespect. She owns a horse. She owns, like, ten horses. Just looking at this girl, she's definitely a horse girl. It is pretty cute. I do like it. I can rock it for a little bit. <laughs> Journey of the Prairie King cosplay. By the way, we haven't checked in on, on the itinerary all stream, but that is, I believe... One of our goals, then. Grow 140 tarot roots. Taken care of. Taken care of business. Every day. Alright. The rest of these we still haven't, uh... Haven't touched. We made some progress with our void eggs and our farm makeover, obviously. But we're not done with either of them yet. Nor any of the other ones, so... Still, good to see. Good to make some kind of progress, no matter how small. Anything else you need to buy? Exclamation point cart. That is our final expense. Just waiting on year 13. She owns a horse in spirit. Exactly. This is, like, very freaky. <laughs> I don't, I'm not comfortable with that situation. I also don't like that they're hanging out in Chloe's bed. We might have to... I hate to say it. We might have to cull the slimes that are in in Chloe, in, not Chloe's, but Haley's room at some point, and just leave our slimes in the nursery. It might be time to face to face that reality. The void slime, the void slime, we can't touch. We tried before. We tried to save the one void slime that came about previously, and it didn't work out so well for us. Robus letting out his, his mischievous side. Speaking of, let's get some more rain for tomorrow. I'm going to put it up to a poll. I'm going to put this up to a poll really quick because this is an important decision. Should we... How do I put it as nicely as possible? In quotes, get rid of the slimes in Haley's room. The ones in the in the nursery up on the second floor, there's uh, I have no issues keeping them. That's their that's their home. But Haley's room is Haley's room, and I kind of it feels wrong to just leave them there. Ask your community. This one's gonna be up to you guys. I'm not gonna. I do still have a veto to use for this year, but it's uh, it would feel wrong to use it on this one in particular, when there's actual lives on the line. So, uh, let your voice be heard. Not the babies. If we leave the babies, then we have to... <laughs> then the, the problem will just reset itself in, like, a couple of weeks. We gotta, we gotta go no holds barred. Fried eel. Not the breakfast that I would personally choose, but... It's alright. It's at least it's made by Krobus, so how can we say no to it? Just move them. Easier said than done. And we've tried moving them in the past, for the record. It just doesn't work out for some reason. Anytime we reload the save, there's just more Um There's just more slimes down there. Like they relocate themselves somehow. I don't know how it works, but I think the only possible solution is to you know. Bring old faithful out here and give him a little yeah, a little yeah. The one in the void can stay. <laughs> Are there multiple in the void now? There's only the one in the void that I can see. There might be one further down. All right, it is night market tomorrow. I don't really think like the night market is a festival. Don't get me wrong, 
but we don't really do anything at the night market anymore so i think we can forego that especially because it would take so long to wait and i'm i'm kind of antsy we got half an hour left in the stream if we sleep the days away enough we can get one shot at the feast of the winter star of the stream and i think that's more worth it than sticking to our guns with this festival thing I don't think we can make it rain on night market days, though, so... Yeah, I think I actually used the rain totem yesterday, and it just didn't work, so... Won't worry about that for right now. Let Krobus do it? Even when there was no fence in front of uh, Haley's room, I'm pretty sure Krobus never went down there anyway. He respects Haley's boundaries. I could I could lure them all to Krobus. That could that could be fun. Why isn't that painting centered? Which painting are you talking about? This one this one over here? It's a great question, honestly. I think I do prefer that. 60% of chat say that the slimes have had their have had their have, they've overstayed their welcome to put it as politely as possible. All right. Probus, he's on his way. I don't know, where's he, where's he going? Let's see. We gotta lure these, all right. It'll be okay. We're not gonna kill any of the slimes ourselves. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not gonna kill any of the slimes ourselves, at least not yet. Robus, help, please. We got a bit of an infestation here. Get your sword. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, he's a machine. He's a, he's a machine. Look at him go. <laughs> oh my god. It's a massacre. Look away. Look away. Sensitive viewers. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a, it's like a meat grinder. He's got zero chill. Holy crap, Krobus. <laughs> All right, we got it. There's still, there's still many more to go. There's so many stuck in this one spot here. That might be one that we have to tend to ourselves. <laughs> oh gosh, he's swearing. All right, Krobus. Yeah, here we go. He, he does, he does have some, some censorship going on. Oh my God. Is so aggressive. The sound. The sound is probably the worst part. Who need who needs a, a slime hutch when you can just do this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Krobus is unstoppable. Alright, we gotta go for another round. Another round. Like the Pied Piper of slimes. You know, we'll, we'll, those ones that are trapped in the corners like that, we might just have to tend to on our own. Probus, he's had enough. He's like, I'm going to go here where there's no slimes. Little does he know. The slimes will go wherever you are, Probus. He's just he's just trying to hide behind his table. Probus wants no part in this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, a dwarf scroll. Come on, come on. He, sh he shouted, die. <laughs> Holy crap. It's a little far, don't you think, Krobus? Why are there monsters in the house? Don't worry about it, okay? You did great. You did great. Holy crap. Holy moly. Krobus' worst day ever. All right, we'll tend to the rest here. My children. All right, there we go. <laughs> Feels a little barren in here without the palm trees, but we can, pro we can maybe... Just let it be. Let's go deposit our, uh... I feel wrong saying loot. Deposit the remains of our, of our fallen companions. There was nothing I could have done, chat. Krobus, you saw it. You saw him. He was bloodthirsty. It's all Krobus' fault, for sure. For sure. Deposit the meat. Oh my god. Karita. Does this affect friendship level? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh! 
Why would that affect friendship level? <laughs> That's... <laughs> All I was doing was getting him to kill literally hundreds of slimes with his own bare fists in his home that he thought was safe. He trusted me. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Oh my god. Deserved. 100% deserved. <laughs> Gold pumpkin time. All right, yeah. Let's let's get him uh let's get let's get some gifts on the on the roster here. <laughs> couple of a couple of pumpkins for the next couple days. Reset the day. <laughs> no, we got we made our bed. We got a lie in it on that one. Here you go. Sorry, honey. Uh, real quick, let's also pop over to Ginger Island. That was, that got me good, dude. Let's pop over to Ginger Island and, uh, see if we got the danger in the deep quest. Holy moly. Ooh, HelloFresh, maybe? I just got here. Are slimes dead? Not all of them. Just the ones that were uh, that were bogarting Haley's room. Like as far as I'm concerned, it was their own fault because I tried to lure them all to, away from Haley's room in the past, and it just didn't work. They kept returning to that area, and you reap what you sow. As far as I'm concerned, cheese kindness. I'm just gonna take this one so that it doesn't. Uh, We've already done cheese kindness in the past. We, we gave those 50 love gifts. So I'm not going to worry about it. The danger in the deep quest might be literally the only quest that we have not done. Well, other than the, the chi bean quest, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, the ones in the nursery are fine. We'll never, we'll never touch them. They're free to, they're free to be themselves. With Iridium Crobus lording over them like that. Alright. Off to bed. Argon endorses mass murder? No, I endorse extermination of pests. They they were pestering Haley's <coughs> pardon me. Oh my gosh, I can't even I can't even get out the lie before it's before my own body betrays me. They're pestering Haley's room, and I won't stand for it. Pest control, exactly. Sometimes you gotta lay down the law, you know what I mean? Did we just pick a favorite child? I think I think this is our favorite child. This is officially our favorite child. We're gonna we might have to name the void slime at some point. I'm not comfortable doing it just yet. I gotta think on that one. It's gotta be... It's gotta be a memorable name. Alright, let's go to sleep again. I don't know why I drank coffee literally right before going to bed. Not the greatest decision I've ever made in my life, but we'll live with it. We have still have the... We do still have the Chi Cuisine quest going, so I don't really want to make any more Triple Shot Espresso because it won't stack. Hello. On Fridays? Yeah, but what about this table, though? What do you think, Chloe? He didn't even capitalize my name. <laughs> what the heck? I figured the room could use a little more decoration. You know what? We, we don't have any recourse to get our own furniture, really, so... Can I... Can I not pick this up? Okay, I can. It was just being weird about it. I feel like this is... It's good. Don't get me wrong, Krobus. It's a, it's a good fit. But would we prefer it up there or as like a bedside table? I do like a bedside table. We could put something on that too. In theory. I know just the thing. Actually, can you put things on a table or on like a dresser like that? We'll, we'll find out shortly. Isn't that a dresser that you can put clothes in, is it? Let's go find out. Actually, I can probably just, like, check right here, right? If I take the cactus fruit off, does it let me... No, it just... It does... I... Unless there's some way to interact with it that I don't know of, but... Here we go. Or an ostrich egg to summon more eggs. Alright. 
Uh, I guess we're going to bed. Actually, can we... Is this the last day of the night market? I think it is, right? So we can just... We can rain totem up. There we go. Bedside tables and dressers are not the same. Not in real life, but in, it has a drawer. So in theory, it could be used for some kind of storage. A sea urchin. You shouldn't have, Krobus. Like, literally, you shouldn't have. What happened to your stash of void eggs, my guy? How's our friendship doing with Krobus now? He's, he's still not loving us, but you know what? We don't need to give gifts constantly. Give gifts, give life. We'll just, uh... We'll talk to him every day. We're, we're doing that anyway. We're already talking to him basically every day. So we'll just build up friendship naturally by that. We can give him one on the Feast of the Winter Star. That's something I can definitely get behind. Speaking of, this year your secret friend is... Leia. What do we get Leia? What is What does Leia love? Let me... I'm going to do a quick wiki check on that one. Because I don't have Leia's love gifts memorized that well. I know she really likes salad, but I think that requires vinegar, so that's going to be a no-go. Leia. She likes wine. She likes vegetable medley. Stir-fry, poppy seed muffin, goat cheese, truffle. Are any of these reasonably makeable for us? Let's see. She likes stir-fry. Do we have any extra kale? We could do that. Vegetable medley as well, I think, is possible. Now that we have... We do have one extra beet. Actually, we have a couple extra beets, don't we? We have one piece of kale. We have two extra beets. We could use one of our beets for that. We could just go with wine. Don't get me wrong. I see that right there. But I want to do something a little extra special. Just because I feel like Feast of the Winter Star gifts should be extra special if you have the means to do it. So let's make a let's make her a lovely little vegetable medley. We might already have a vegetable medley. Potentially just like lying around from one that Gus gave us, maybe. But either way, we're gonna make a homemade one, so. I just wanted to double check. It's gonna be wait, is this it's gonna be freshly cooked. Do the freshly cooked items do they disappear or something if this quest is not like once the quest runs out, or is that will it be okay? Maybe I shouldn't even risk it just in case. It seems like kind of a niche situation, but they do disappear. Vegetable medley versus a bottle of wine. I'll take the ancient fruit wine, please. Yeah, but it's gonna be it's like, you know. Like, if someone showed up for a Secret Santa or something, and they're either like, Hey, I got this bottle of Apothic Red from from my local, uh... From my local co-op Wine and Spirits or something. Or, they're like, I slaved over a hot stove making this for you this morning. One of those definitely, I mean, is more appealing to me than the other one. I'm just gonna say. Just gonna say. I'm gonna wait on it. I think it's better not to risk it. There's no no reason to make the vegetable medley right now to begin with. I can speak, I promise. Vegetable medley. Vegetable medley. I just, like, stumbled over it. Sir, you made that one? Bad analogy? <laughs> yeah, but it's old. And it's not, it's not old in the way you want wine to be old, either. It's not been aged in casks all this time. It's just been... It, it, was, it was aged, and now it's just been sitting in a chest, like, in the hot sun. You'd be happy with a bottle of wine? A bottle of red? Then it's freshly made for her? I would still take the wine? Ancient fruit wine is better than some bargain wine, though? Alright. Here, we got, we got a few days left for the Feast of the Winter Star still. This is a pollable question if I've ever seen it. What should we... Give Leia. And before I make this poll live, just remember what goes around comes around. We do have a moratorium on the gift that we want from the Feast of the Winter Star now. We're not mentioning it until the day of. But I'm just saying, if we put in that little bit of extra effort, 
maybe the game will recognize that and pay us off in kind. For ancient fruit wine. Now I want wine and I don't even like wine. No, wine is gross as far as I'm concerned. All right, we're going to sleep for the night. Literally 100% of the vote so far. I mean, it's only a few votes in, I'm sure. It's it's ancient fruit wine all the way. <laughs> it's just pure ancient fruit wine. That's so funny. All right, we can take one more crack with our last rain totem here at getting a void egg courtesy of Krobus. Let's hope for the best. We give food, we get food, mayhaps. I mean, they are technically both food. They're both consumables. Speaking of, another void egg from our void salmons. They are really... They're really hyping this up, huh? We, we, we've been getting many different kinds of eggs this stream. Oh, hold on. I can't say it. I can't say it. I said the word. I'm saying the word. I'm saying it all over the place. I'm the bad guy. We got this void ovoid. This... This void animal product, a jet black uh -uh, with red flex. It's warm to the touch. It's, it, it could be a good sign. It could be a good sign is all I'm saying. One, one more needed for our cooking purposes. And then the void mayonnaise as well. Yeah, we're not, we're not saying the, uh, the three-letter devil word anymore. Do I say devil because it's evil? No, in fact, it's not evil at all. It's something we really, really want. It's just the, uh, you know, deviled... The, the deviled version of that food is very good. Ooh! <laughs> Last rain totem coming in clutch! You see that? It pays. It pays. It only took 14 rain totems. <laughs> back to back void um chicken products back to back to back that's so good that's so good the double could we get the triple no triplicity these are uh of a different variety i mean the the word is right there in the description but it's not what we're looking for we can finish cooking. I don't think we can, can we? Or was, did I, did we did we need three of these and then one more for? Let me let me double check. So we need one, two, three, four. But we also need void mayonnaise. So we need one more of those to make that. So I don't think that we can actually pull this off yet, unfortunately. But. We're one away, either from either from Krobus or from the uh, Void Salmon Fish Pond. One away in either capacity. Very nice to see. Chicken seeds. That's got stomach bag energy for sure. Krobus, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still working on getting him to forgive me. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Thirteen hearts is still pretty good. All things all things sold, it's still enough for a star drop. That was a super miserable winter with all the rain that was happening. Yeah, the people in town must have been very confused about all that. They're like, why is it raining so much this winter? What is going on? All right, I see the writing on the wall with this poll, by the way. Ancient fruit wine for Leia is the clear winner. If you guys think it's good enough, then it's, it's good enough for me. cookies. We'll be able to make our own cookies pretty soon here. Actually, I mean, we could literally make our own cookies right now, but I'm not going to toss the cookies. Let's eat them. Feels disrespectful. What do we have left for perfection? Uh, we have to ship, like, two things and cook all this and get the last star drop. So, cook five things, ship two things, and get the final star drop from the secret woods when we get the rare seed slash sweet gem berry. And then we're good. She'll love it. I hope you're right, Elaine. I hope that Leia is uh, 
I mean, I know she's a wine fan, but is she a fan of our wine? I don't know if we've ever given her our wine specifically. It's our own vintage. Did we ever name our wine? I don't think we ever did. A Tim Beeb Cabernet. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not bored. I'm just enjoying what we have here. It's a simple life, but I like it. It's funny that you say that after literally a couple weeks ago, you were... Uh, <laughs> we were assaulted by a horde of wild slimes. Well, not wild slimes. They were very much domesticated slimes, but we don't think too hard about that. Chateau Chloe. I like that. I do have a veto about to expire. It's true. I'm not going to use it for that, though. People were overwhelmingly in favor of the ancient fruit wine, and you know what? I'm not super... I'm not going to be a super stickler for that. So let's just go to sleep again. Got a few more minutes here. We will make it to the Feast of the Winter Star this stream. Oh, it's... Uh, I gotta go check for the, the new Chi Quest. Yeah, thank you, early gamer. I missed it yesterday, but I will check it today. For Danger in the Deep, potentially. Let's go have a look, shall we? Get some coffee in me to make the trip a little bit faster. So this will be our last outing before the Feast of the Winter Star. And then, uh... We'll see what comes to pass. We still have many more years, because we need to get to year 13, obviously. Exclamation point year. But if we can get it out of the way now. If we can get our hopes and dreams fulfilled today. And honestly, Lady Luck and Fortune and all that good stuff is tending me towards thinking that it might actually happen here. But I don't want to get my hopes up too much, you know? We'll see. We will see very shortly. For right now, let's take a peek. What does Mr. Chi want today? Let's play a game. Little fit, little Junimo cart. I'll take a little Junimo cart. We're not going to do it right now. We'll probably do it next stream. But it's good to have the opportunity for for a comeback. For the comeback queen, the Fisher Queen and the comeback queen all rolled up into one. Chloe's just a queen in general. Yas Queen Slay, as the children say. Speaking of slay, I'm going to go open this uh, supply crate that I saw over here. Just so I'm not thinking about it. There we go. Alright. You don't think we should spam the uh, the object today? You feel like it scares it away? We have not... We've, we've always spammed it every year. Maybe there's something to that, but... I don't want to give up tradition just yet. We might be able to mix it up if we start to get desperate. But something about it feels right. We gotta channel all of our energy as a community, as a collective, into this one moment. And this feels like the best way to do so. Quick little hug. Spam when we get it. So hold, hold off the spam until we actually see whether or not it's there. Spam, spam in the background, spam in the back of our minds, have it ready, be a bunch of keyboard warriors, and like, you know, have it, uh, have it loaded in our keyboard shotguns. Just think about it really hard. If you, if you have one of these items in your fridge right now, please go, go get it and caress it while you watch the stream. If you happen to have one, this is your last opportunity. Tomorrow is the big day, so we're gonna have to have all hands on deck. Alternatively, all hands on... you know. If you know, you know. But, we're off to bed. I was going to say hold it tightly, but maybe don't do that. Yeah, don't hold it too tightly. 
Don't pull an unsurpassable Zed and like eat it raw or anything like that. It's probably not uh, not the greatest idea. But if you feel like it would help and you're willing to to stomach it, more power to you, I guess. Just got one out of your fridge. I appreciate it, purple. No way I'm getting out of bed for this. Fair enough. All right, today is the big day. Let's grab the one of our 120 Chateau Chloe Reserve Blend. And let's just uh let's just take a stroll around the farm, shall we? See if we can check around for any extra supply crates, anything interesting. We haven't been keeping great tabs on the mushroom forest, so it might have expanded even further beyond. Yeah, this is not looking not looking the best, gotta say. But we'll fix that up when we do our Earth Obelisk day of decorating. You're on your way to work, so someone hold one for you. <laughs> I don't have any on, in my fridge. I don't keep them... Ooh, hello fresh. I don't keep them on hand, usually. So unfortunately, I cannot participate myself. Otherwise, I'd be leading the charge. You know I would. You know what we can do? You know what we can do real quick? Before the festival even begins? Let's, you know... Let's butter her up a little bit. Shall we? We don't have anything great to give her. Does she like wine? It's locked. I have the key to the town! Excuse you? Alright, well, we'll just, uh... <laughs> leave a bomb on her doorstep? I don't think that's probably... That's probably not the play. What if we, uh... You know. Just butter her up a little bit. Leave a little wine there for her. As you know, an extra incentive. So when she's on her way, she's on her way out to the to the festivities. She might, uh, even if we're not the the gift that she was given, she might reconsider and be like, "Oh, that Chloe is so nice. I know just the thing she needs." Diamond. I can swap it out for a diamond real quick. I'm willing to pull out all the stops here. Shane leaves the house first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Abort? Abort the mission? <laughs> okay, um, let's go ahead and swap it out. Do a little stop and swap. Uh, I'm going to take this off so we're not magnetized. Mom, do we have any? The streamer told me to hold one. <laughs> Alright, let's grab Leia's wine, now nice and chilled. And we'll drop this one off for Marnie. It's a little off to the side. She might see it glint glinting in the snowbank. And be like, oh, what the heck is that? And then she'll find it with, with a little engraving on it, courtesy of Chloe. Alright. Let's go. Let's do this. Hey Marnie, you see anything on your way to the to the festival today? Anything interesting? Maybe not. Today's the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. You said it, Lewis. This has never been a more accurate quote. Some real Argon luck, which is not a <laughs> I don't think is an emote yet. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Ooh, presents. You're telling me, girl. Still upset I didn't win the whatever, Pam. No one needs you to bring it down bring us down. We listened to the story last year. That's alright, Willie. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you as well, Marlin. What did Leo have to say? I don't remember. Linus feels uncomfortable. He's gonna keep him company. You know what? Honestly, you guys do your own thing. Enjoy your roast beast down in Whoville or whatever the heck you plan on doing. Quick pit stop to Demetrius. Probably get another tool set this year. That's going to be like 10. Oh my goodness. If you factor in the ones he had before these, uh, before we showed up to the valley. 
not a good time of year for a diet. Absolutely true. Am I not freezing? I, I am wearing like a little skirt, so maybe that's pretty accurate. I don't think we talked to Emily this year. She always asks us what we want to see under the tree, and she never gives us the option that we are looking for, so we're going to forego that, honestly. We'll, we'll, we'll wave to her so that we don't... Uh, we're not going to listen to Gus's spiel either. We'll just give her a little one of these, just so she knows that she's loved. But I feel like she might jinx us. Nothing like a piping hot feast. And one for you too, Pierre, the actual Grinch of, uh, of Stardew Valley. Holidays are good for business. I wonder if I can vent some new ones. All right. Of course, gotta say hi, hi to our girl. Hope there's a new camera for her, you under the spirit tree. Maybe you'll remember to bring that one next time. Let's go ahead. Hey, Leia. This one's courtesy of chat. I was gonna bring you a nice, uh, a nice warm meal, but they insisted that you prefer this beautiful vintage. It's a, uh, it's a year four vintage, probably year five. I don't even know. Here you go. She does love it. So it's you, an ancient fruit wine. Thanks. She's, she's a fan. Okay, chat. There was some. I was thinking maybe there's something to not spamming it this year, but it just feels like we have to. We've been keeping up tradition up until now with other with other festivals and things. We might change it up next year. We'll see. But for now, this is your moment. Spam all your eggs. Spam any egg-related paraphernalia that you have. For those at home who are, who are holding eggs close to their bosom, just, you know, hold it as tight as you can without actually breaking it. All egg emojis of any kind, any varietal, just the word egg, preferably in all caps, possibly with the letters spaced out, one space in between each letter. We want a full wall of nothing but egg. Just egg all day, every day. Egg, 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 egg. We're looking for eggs. We're looking for small white eggs. Small white eggs by the dozen. Show it to me, Marnie. You guys have done it. You've got all the eggs possible in chat in the whole world right there, except for the 12 we're about to get right here. Alex, this is like the third time we've gotten you. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's got a crush on us or something. He's like, he's like bribing Mayor Lewis so that he gives us... Oh my god. I'm your secret gift giver this year. Alex! What's he got? It's a freaking deluxe speed, bro. Do you know how many of these I have at home, Alex, and how many I can make? <laughs> Disrespectful. It's the best I could afford. You know what? I can't really begrudge you too much then, I guess. It's his revenge for dating Haley. <laughs> well, I guess we got too many other eggs of other types this year than the, uh, or maybe we did scare it off with the spam. It's possible. Either way, better luck next year, I guess. Alex eats five do dozen eggs every morning to help him get large. Maybe next year he'll eat six dozen eggs, so he's roughly the size of a barge. All right, well, we'll put it away in our uh, in our chest here. It's gonna stack with this one, but I think we can like, can we split the stack up somehow? You can't split a stack in a chest. You can only like split it in your inventory, huh? So that's just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to live with that. Fair enough. These are all the uh, the false profits that we've had so far. One of these days, eggs are going to join the roster. For right now, though, we are a little past our due date for the stream, but I think I can still squeeze in a Effector's Challenge run here, Effector's Challenge attempt. Let's give it our all, shall we? One last time. One last time. George Washington's going home. Such a great song. The more I think about Hamilton and the songs therein, the more I think that that song, 
one last time might be my favorite. There's others that hit different emotional beats that are very powerful in their own right, but nothing qu hits quite the same as, as one last time. It gives me goosebumps, chills, just every single time. In fact, I might go listen to it right after this stream. And you can't stop me. Nor would you want to. Like, why would you Why would you get in the way of my, my fun, my leisure time? Ooh, let me grab that real quick. Sneak on over here, try and grab this one as well. That's, that's some good power up. Oh my gosh. Turn to a bullet hell boss. Gotta love that. Grab it. Off to a decent start as far as money goes as well. This is this is a good run to start off with. I am gonna take that because I think it's a better panic button than the uh, alternative that we had there. The wagon wheel. I haven't had a wagon wheel like the snack in a very long time. Those used to be a staple of my childhood. Like I would, my mom would pack my lunch for like elementary through high school, basically. And very often, more often than not, I would have a wagon wheel as part of that lunch, and it was a good time. I think they are kind of wasteful as far as packaging goes, if I remember, because they're each individually wrapped in a plastic sheath. But you can't beat the taste. Like, there's, there's, they're good, man. Not good for you, just good. Mm-mm-mm. I was going to ask if they exist or not still, but I'm pretty sure they still do. I think I've seen those in my grocery store. I just never pick them up anymore. I just never think to, I guess. Maybe it's time. Bring back the wagon wheel. What's a wagon wheel snack? You never had a wagon wheel snack? Is that a Canadianism? It's like a, uh, it's like a, about, it's a chocolate snack about the size of a hockey puck. That is, like, it's a disc that has, not graham cracker, but it's like that kind of like crumbly cracker stuff on the inside, as well as marshmallow. It's like, I think there's, I think there's other snacks called like Viva Puffs or something that are, that are similar. Maybe you've heard of those. They're, it's like a little marshmallow chocolatey snack mainly. They're very good. Top tier, highly recommended. Actually, I don't know if they're top tier, if they're a top tier snack quite. They do kind of make me thirsty when I eat them. Got just enough for the damage upgrade, that's a good spot to be in. I'd rather have more money if it was, uh, plausibility. Am I trolling you? I'm not trolling you. Moon pies? Is that what they're called? Moon pies in, in your neck of the woods? Look up wagon wheels. Like, not, not, don't just look up wagon wheels. You'll probably get pictures from, like, the 16th century or artist renditions of, of wheels of wagons. Like a horse drawn carriage type deal. But if you look up wagon wheel snack, it is, you're, it's guaranteed. I'm not making this up. This is not an ima imagination land situation. This is really available at your local Safeway. Is Safeway also a Canadian chain? I honestly don't. I think I think Safeway is also American. I think it might be more popular in Canada though. True bullet hell boss time. Haven't seen any of the Sheriff Star power-ups yet, but that's alright. They'll come in time. We still have plenty of levels before we need to even worry about that. I always get too good to use Syndrome with them anyway. Mm, I want that coin if I can muster it. Oh, ooh, there's... Oh, I missed that coin. Alright, that's fine. We'll just grab that. We have enough money for a fire rate upgrade, if nothing else, on our next shop. Which I will probably invest in and then just hope and pray for enough for a damage upgrade next. Canadian Moon Pie. Is the Moon Pie Twitter still doing its thing? I swear, I, I I followed back when I checked Twitter more often than I do now, which I check like maybe like once a once a week. I should check more than I do. 
At least, I should at least check, like, my messages and stuff and people tweeting at me. But, uh, when I used to, like, read Twitter more religiously, I would follow some brand accounts, and Moonpie was among them that would make these, like, very weird meme -y tweets. I got, I got, I managed to get the coin just in the nick of time there. I was, uh, I was a little close for comfort. Ooh, there's a coin down there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that one. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay. We got it. We got it. Get it. Got it good. Not the best level for a Sheriff Star, but still better than not having it, realistically. That's good. That's good. Let's just get some of these riffraff out of here. Okay, we cleared out cleared out most of, uh, most of the scary stuff here. If I can get a wagon wheel on this level... I'd be, uh, there you go, exactly. I'd be very happy with that. Now we're not going to have enough for our next damage upgrade unless we get pretty lucky with the gold drops here. Because the shop is literally at the end of this level. But we have more than enough for a fire rate upgrade, which is a good place to be, I think. Quickly yeet you. Get this. There we go. Used to have a Safeway, but it's a Woolworths now. I don't think I've ever heard of a Woolworths. Makes me think of Wooloo from uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. One of the cutest new additions to the Pokemon lexicon. Chat, right now, what's your... Just uh, don't think about it too hard. What's your pick for the cutest Pokemon? Doesn't have to be your favorite Pokemon, but cutest Pokemon. Because I'm going to say Yamper. I think Yamper is V cute. V standing for very. I think Yamper is a, is a top tier choice for cute Pokemon. Just go with your gut. Don't think about it too hard. Charmander, that's fair. Charmander is also cute. I can't think of it too many like fully evolved Pokemon that I would necessarily call cute. I think cute Pokemon are generally reserved for either basic evolutions or sometimes maybe like a mid-tier. But usually like a mid-tier of a three-tier evolution is a sort of awkward teenager phase, like it's going through puberty or something, and it, they're, they're, they're just kind of weird. They got a weird vibe about them. They're not so much cute. But maybe that's just me. Me and my judgmentalness. Which is not a word, but gets the point across. All the same. I looked at chat briefly. That could have been the death of me. <laughs> I don't know why I still have the inclination to look at chat sometimes during these levels. I know better than that. I just want to see what people are saying are cute Pokemon, I guess. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have posed the question when I knew I was gonna be getting right into a new level. A new world, even. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go or to say that you don't get five coins. There we go. Feeling pretty good about this run so far, but it's got a long way to go to really make things pop here. We want 14 more coins by our next shop in order to be in the best situation that I think we can. Duskull is cute to you. Cherim. Hatterene. Hatterene's a good one. Or like Hatrim, that whole line, honestly. That might be the closest that any fully evolved Pokemon gets to being like super cute. But even like the fully... Is Hatterene the fully evolved one? Whatever, whatever the fully evolved one's name is, is more like graceful and elegant than, than she is cute. And I shouldn't say she because I don't think it's exclusively 100% female, but it's the vibe I get, obviously. Kind of like how Mr. Mime can be female. Mmm, this is a little sketchy. It's alright, we got it, we got it, we got Watch this, watch the, Watch me go. I got a wagon wheel, nothing can stop me now. These smoke bombs, I'm starting to come around to the smoke bombs a little bit more. I think it's better to use them than to just leave them. They are kind of disorienting still, but... They're not so disorienting that I think it's worth... Hold on. That it's worth foregoing them entirely every single time. 
Ooh, <laughs> come on. I was, I was doing, I, he was literally the last enemy on the screen, man. How could I let that happen? Oh my god. After all that prime dodging, I let the last one just run clean into my calves and knock out my legs from under me. Rip. He mushed me. Well, there's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. It's a new day. Until then, though. Ooh. Ooh, stretching. Oh my goodness. I don't usually like, yawn or stretch on screen, but I get on stream, but I guess I uh <laughs> I guess I'm just that tired today, I don't know. Regardless, thank you all for joining me for my stream today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. It is greatly appreciated. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you want to be notified the next time I go live, which will be tomorrow. Same time, same place. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be starting year 9. We're not quite there yet, exclamation point year, but year 9 is coming in very soon. And, there's, and the years are just going to be coming like hot and fast, like that, like that, like that. I don't know if you can hear me snapping, but they're going to be coming just faster than you can freaking blink. You're, you'll see. You'll all see. And we're going to get the eggs. We're going to get the rare seed. And we'll just be living our best life, as far as I'm concerned. Until then, though, I'm going to get out of here. I'll leave you with the fan art compilation, as per usual. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you all, and have a great night. Bye!